Waking up off the whole game to the take a right. Door back, sitting heavy on my chest today. In the kitchen, check the fridge, something's missing. Can't eat my special sauce. She got me lip licking. Check my phone, it's swagging. I know I see they like my red shoes. Playing with the real. Do I take the masterpiece that is my life? Hold me back when I try to kill my wife. In the office, breathing with the stitch of old feet in a tiny grease. Shit got me feeling nauseous. Stepping over wires, I'll get sticks and catch the cards. Boot up OBS on Windows and man, I'm working hard. I'm just a small guy. Making five bands on the hour, every hour I'm devour. Don't you play me, cause if you play me, I'll make you publicly apologize until you say please. When I sit in my chair, I'm sweating like a metronome. Keeping time until you took me, that's a business pro. When I look at chat, see, no one is talking, I'll just call your mouth through an idiot for just watching. When I end the stream, I see I only got to 50. I'll end the recording and beg it, please tip me. 200 people to the Yakuza stream. If I want to give you $10, I'll be the living dream. Thank you. Well, I don't know. Take accountability. I don't know. But I do know that the tips go. Gotta grow. It's a struggle running two channels. Now three. But I'm a crowd-funded individual. So it's not free. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Bill Burnell is the mm, um something okay i guess well uh no intro today because there's not really much to talk about i don't know what happened on his late stream yesterday um there was also this uh this other thing with uh rich's ex-boyfriend jay the walmart m m looking guy uh who made a tweet actually let me go check it out because we have some time twitter.com and here we got let me just find it a real quick style. Uh, so this dude, I think he was like sarcastically said that he's going to be having a stream with DSP. Uh, just so Rich can respond to it. Because they're having like a domestic dispute. They, this is like, it's, it's, so, it's so pathetic. Like both of these grown ass adult middle aged men are so pathetic that I cannot even put in words. Um, so what, what was his name? JKB or some shit? Yeah, there we go. Video game journalist, dude. And then him and Rich went back and forth again. And it was like, it, it just, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I could be sucking like a bag of dicks right now and it would be nowhere near as gay as their relationship. It's, it's so fucking pathetic. Um, then here we got Rich. Well, it says the, the user cannot it like limits who views this post or some shit hold on uh yeah also i updated some parts of the stream it looks a little bit different now i guess um yeah oh well this is it so this was like 20 hours ago everybody shit on this dude because i mean why not uh dsp and i are going to do a stream together soon i've always wanted to talk to him about gaming it'll be a chill relaxed stream two men talking about life and gaming it'll be positive and to be fucking honest, I'm sick of the negative bullshit. And it, uh, obviously, you can see the replies, you can see the quote tweets and all that shit. Everybody jumped on this. Uh, I don't give a fuck if this guy was sarcastic or joking, because you can't tell. You can't tell. From what he's written, he's having a stream with DSP. So, there you go. And, yeah, it was, uh, it was very entertaining reading all the replies. And I was particularly toxic towards him. Uh, because it's very fun. Hey, there we go. It's the, the Brunel guy. We can watch him now and forget about those other retards. So let's watch this one instead. And obviously it's not going to happen uh, because DSP wants to be in control of this stuff. The only reason why it would happen is for DSP to piss off Review Tech USA. That's the only reason why he would ever consider doing it. He doesn't give a shit about that J guy. The J guy got a, a shitty channel that gets probably less views than me. And all I do is talk about Dark Side Phil. So as you can see, there's not a lot of business potential from both sides. And I mean, Jay having a collab with DSP is going to bring him nothing but toxicity and people shitting on him because you're doing business with Dark Side Phil. What do you expect? Daisies and rainbows? I don't know. Anyways, created by Phil Burnell. Uh, I don't know what happened on the late stream. I think he got like 60 something bucks or something. It was better than the day stream. And welcome to the oh, look at him. He's he's tropical again. A special guest here with us. 
It is the Level 1 Podcast. I'm DSP. Today is Monday, the 18th of March, 2024, and I welcome you here to the show. Jasper is excited to be a part of the show today as well, as you can see. And uh, we're still in the midst of a heat wave here in Washington. Today's day three. It's supposed to be a four-day heat wave. Um, the four-day heat wave. As you can see, I'm still in summer attire and will be today and likely tomorrow until finally it cools down on Wednesday and I can go back to seasonal clothing. Um, although, is not it? Is it either today spring or tomorrow the first day of spring here in the United let's States? Let's actually check out the weather. It was so it's weather tomorrow. in Seattle. And it's funny because it's had bro, cooler, it's bro, weather. it's 12 uh, Celsius. It's literally 54 Fahrenheit. If you know yeah. what that means, good for you. And then all of a sudden, but it's boom, 12 Celsius. So a, a heat why? wave. Look this dude like is wearing like Hawaiian you know, shirts and shit. Is he going through a menopause? What is happening to him? You know, pretty crazy. But um, anyway, <laughs> I welcome you here to the show, and I certainly hope that you guys are uh, oh, man. having fun, in a good mood, and doing well. If not, well, hopefully we can fix some of those things with today's show. Um, so today we're gonna talk about a few things. We'll talk about. Updates on the React stuff because we actually have some pretty important updates. Oh no! Rollback and the next project over there. I need feedback about that, and I need you guys to help me out to figure it out. In addition, uh, well, for him it's a heat wave because it's in addition to it's that, not traditional uh, the the traditional weather this time of year. It's uncharacteristically hot. So for him it's like a heat wave um, that I'm sure you guys would like to t chat about. And outside of that, you know, we'll see where the show takes us. Uh, today's major focus. Okay, let's be fair. Let's look up Renton. Because in Renton, it might be a thousand degrees. No, it's even less. It's even less. It's 11 Celsius. We just had a big fight. Holy shit. Oh, no, that's just the beginning. It must be warmer in the room with me right now. We're going to be in it for a while. It might even take all stream today. So Shout out Cobside Phil says it's 51 right now. It wouldn't even hit 68 today. Oh well, yeah, it looks like it. Cazador is considered Hold on, one of let's the big flip. Three fights of the game. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm he's 60, what, uh, 66 uh, at most, game, it says along here. Along with Raphael and I guess one or two other bosses. God damn it. Up, also, there was the Tribunal of Assassins. Shout out Jay who says maybe he needs cooling gel right to rub on his so, scalp. Well, maybe his scalp is made to overheat, stream, just like those AMD processors. No late stream tonight. That's just designed. Because his head is not... Like optimally okay. distributing the heat the because it's stream. bent it's and it's one, dented. Film private so videos. you need external two, cooling solutions. Uh, because I have to work on some behind the scenes stuff for my business. But luckily, it it's taxes, bro. It's not behind the scenes stuff for your business. You're doing your taxes. Everybody knows. I should Just say it. Be here for full double stream days uh, and no more interruptions. Just say it. <clears throat> and uh, we'll go from there. Now, I just want to let you guys know. One of the hot topics that we've been discussing recently is what should be the next new game that I start. And oh man, he's been streams. talking about this for like what again, four again, days straight. I don't even remember how much I've been streaming. I try and do this every day whenever I have time, but and it, it seems like every day we just talk about this. In love with it, but at the same time, it looks interesting. There's literally like two games, and he still can't pick which one he's gonna play. Is it gonna be Dragon's Dogma 2, or is it gonna be uh, the Rise of the Ronin? Play that, and it's like, oh, it comes out March 20th. I looked at my calendar. I said, March 20th. What the hell? It comes out on Wednesday. Well, I didn't know it comes out on Wednesday. I thought it was like the end of the month. Remember this game had been delayed like multiple times during its development. Originally it was supposed to come out back in October. Then it was supposed to come out in January. Oh, and, and this is uh, Alone in the Dark, isn't it? So that's thrown into the mix. But of course, the big question was what new game was I going to play on Friday with the choices being uh, Rise of the Ronin or Dragon's Dogma 2. So I've put a lot of thought into this. I've listened to your feedback. And based on my thoughts and your feedback, I've made a decision. And I made a decision. That All right. He made a right decision, now. you guys. That's actually if exciting. Decision, listen Whoa. up. But if you're not ready for the decision, then what I need you to do is take your fingers and stick them. You in know what to do, guys. And go me, 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 for about five minutes when I explain my decision. Okay? The decision is like LeBron when he decided to join the Miami Heat. <clears throat> That's the same thing. Is Phil deciding which video game he's going to play this week or next week or two weeks from now or six months from now? Oh, wait. Oh, you wanted my decision now? You wanted to hear it? Oh, okay. 
So my decision is that I am going to, this Friday, I'm going to begin playing Pal World full time. I've decided to drop all my. Oh my god, of course. Play Pal World. I think now is the exact right time to do it while it's still hot. <laughs> of course. No, I just think it's funny that, like, a lot of these games now, what you see is they get momentary popularity, and then within a few weeks, they're just not popular anymore. Like, no one's talking about Pal World. Yeah, it's bro. People have it's short attention spans. Remember, it was the hottest game, the Move you know, on. selling game. Uh,. For some time there, right? So, like, whatever, just play them, let them play video there. games. What's your problem? And then no one talks about it. There you go. Games seem to be like this these days. Anyway, um, no, we're mocking everybody's failures, even yeah, though I'm pretty sure people are still playing Pal World. World. And I've decided that starting this Friday, the new game that I will start playing is Dragon's Dogma 2. Hey, there we go. Reasons for this. The most Reason obvious one, outcome. It's the game that I'm most interested in and already wanted to play before this whole idea of RPG overload affected the channel. Okay? <clears throat> it's just the game that I'm more interested in. Oh, dude. I'm drinking this option. light beer and it feels like I'm drinking water. This shit is trash. That right now. Um, so that's number one. Number two, you guys gave me feedback this week and literally about 80% of the people who did respond said play Dragon's Dogma 2. There are still some people who want to see Rise of the Ronin, but for the most part, people are like, yeah, I think Dragon's Dogma is going to be the bigger game. I'm more interested in that. And the thing is, being that it's going to be an RPG where you make your own pawn team and you can play it a little bit differently than others, I think that that playthrough <clears throat> will be more interesting to watch as opposed to Rise of the Ronin. You know, a lot of people might be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 and say, all right, well, I'm curious how this person's going to handle that. You know, kind of like Elden Ring where a lot of people wanted to see in the early game, well, how did that person build their character? How did that person tackle those challenges? Bro, we on, get it, dude. As opposed to my playthrough. I think people will want to see that with Dragon's Dogma 2, okay? Um, so, that's what I'm going with. Now, yeah, I get it, guys. Stuff, Light beer sucks. I'm not going to get any of it. I'm not ever, ever playing Rise of the Ronin. It just means it as sucks. of right now, I'm not playing Rise of the Ronin. Oh, it uh, may happen Holy in the Fork. future. We may have time Three for it later. days in a row. Yeah, don't get used to it. Get only fans for a LT hello boyfriend. Hello Vikes, how's it going, man? We're back on the grind. When it's like 80, all he's going to do is complain about having a big electric bill and say there's no way he could put on a vest, hat, or GL butterfly. Yeah, the I haven't heard him complain about the electric bill, but the gimmicks, yeah. Too much time in his podcast and could shorten it. He disagrees, and then he wastes his viewers' time every day. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing literally right now. RPG overload. It's his right? announcement. I cannot just saying the same shit he said in the last four days. I absolutely have to put my foot down, and I have to play Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth and finish them. I have to do this, okay? It has to be finished. So... Why does it have to be finished though? Like, who actually cares about the great taste of what the game will be? The the Yakuza game being finished. It's like the lowest supported game of all time. If any game should be dropped, is that one? Full force push into Dragon's Dogma 2, and I'm excited for it. Remember, way back in the day, Dragon's Dogma 1 was actually one of the games that I loved, and honestly, I'll be honest, my audience didn't like it as much. You know, I was an on-demand content creator back then i did not live stream i was still using my yeah i did see political like, uh, his political comment and i have nothing to say about game. it because I, I i don't know if he's right or not refreshing and interesting i, I didn't even like, read it i just said it, uh, i just saw it on the monsters and find their weak points have your pawns attack and you strategy to win and you grind and you get levels and items and things i really enjoyed it um <clears throat> Why is why why are his legs trembling like this? Look, his entire bottom half is shaking. He like that they have quite literally cannot stay still. How good it will be? I think the political comment is on the on the podcast from yesterday. Into it when I have these lingering, insanely long playthroughs, right? So we absolutely have to do it. Okay, we have to. Um, so I hope you guys are. Yeah, there you go. Right? Wouldn't you rather have me finish? You can take a screenshot of this for two, three, four months. So we can focus fully on Dragon's Dogma 2 rather than having you play Dragon's Dogma 2 twice a week and balance it with a million other games no one's asking for. I think it makes sense, right? Plus, we are heading into the exciting end game of both games now, and people want to see them end and not linger. So I think that we're making the right decision here, okay? <clears throat> so it is official. 
My wife and I are going to do some fun stuff with Dragon's Dogma 2 on our day off. I'll talk about that in a little bit because we're going to get to the schedule. Okay? But, bro, you already um, said, why are you going to talk about it again? Right, so anyway, guys, She's going to help them make a pawn we'll so the they can play with, like, a custom that, pawn we'll a quick stuff. recap of yesterday, the React Day of the week, because uh, it went pretty well. And I yeah, shout out Cobside Phil says uh, there are 58k people playing Pal World on Steam, but it's not a big deal and it's dead. If a game isn't consistently being talked right, about, so it's dead for Phil. If it's not consistently Sunday, being like reacting. super hype, because I'm sure people are still talking about uh, Pal World on Twitter and it has its own community, but for him it has to be like super hot for him to even consider that it's relevant. Because that's just not how it works. Interesting topic. Very few games get constantly talked about. The content. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, first two videos went live yesterday. The third just went live about an hour ago over on the DSP Reacts channel, and a new video will go live again one a day, one a day for the next three days. Um, please, if you like that content, consider supporting the channel by becoming a member. If you become a member of the submissions level tier or higher, those are the people who are submitting clips for the show, and the threads to submit clips for next week's show are already live, and you can do that if you're a channel member. Okay. Um, so good stuff there. And then for the late stream, we swung over to DSP Throwback, my other channel. And on that channel is the is the throwback content, where we've got legacy playthroughs of Final Fantasy 13 and Red Dead Redemption 1 with a part daily going live, alternating. And then also, once a week, I do what's called Retro React. This is a stream where I react to an older playthrough of mine from the past, and I bring modern commentary and reactions and criticism to it, because, man, I was different back then. You know, the old content is just so irreverent. The, the commentary is ridiculous in some cases. Irreverent commentary. What is irreverent? Let's lear learn a new a word. That I would not act today now that I'm older and more mature. Oh, I've, I've looked this up look before. Showing a lack of respect for people or things that are bad, generally right? taken seriously. Yeah, wow, well, they used it properly. done really good on that channel uh, for an old playthrough. For example, it's the most viewed thing I've done on the channel since the first videos in January. So, it's doing better than Red Okay, let's give that a vibe check. It's good that that is on the channel because it's keeping that channel alive with views and engagement. Um, and the streams typically have been oh, yes. really well look at, too. Look at all it's these attendance, engagement, and the support. phenomenal that attendance. Because that support is allowing that channel to be viable for me. 109 home. views so, in one day. With all that being said, um, oh, man. last night's stream went well and we're almost done with Heavy Rain. In fact, last night was a very infamous portion of my original Heavy Rain playthrough from 2010. It will yeah, this is 14 views in an hour, though, so it's not too crazy. My throat. It was the portion. It's very funny, but it's just an hour ago. Repeatedly, for about 20 minutes, and it would not work. And I rage. It was one of my infamous first ever like rage outs at a game. I got so upset. I'm swearing like a sailor. Lurking. I'm punching my desk, and well, not my desk, my table. And you Who's can see lurking? the camera vibrating. Why didn't this pop As up? Doing this hey, big up Cerulean 86 for the sub, dude. The game doesn't want to be played. It keeps freezing up and having issues. Oh, so when are you creating that was a, a cool part channel. to see live. a third channel how robust and profitable they are here i thought you would have done this already bro i don't ha i don't have time for a third channel i i wanted to back when i had time i was planning on it's even like a, it, it, the channel exists playthrough for those who haven't been following it this but far. we're now like 30 some parts i don't have it. time man so we're nearly we need done. to put we're up some content on there the what am i gonna put trees and stuff like that this is the final area of red dead redemption one so within another week or two, we're probably done with that playthrough. In fact, uh, I was checking with my editors. My editors, by the way. There's only one full. My editors of left <laughs> for the playthrough. Do you pay them? Finishing up editing the final video. Uh, he should hire out. Jay, and Review Tech's uh, ex-boyfriend. I have to send them the video files, and then it'll be ready to be. They done. should be boyfriends okay. now. They should so be best friends. Critical choices to make with the. DLC Just because Rich channel, doesn't like both of them. Do That's gonna be the bond between them. Week. I've been doing it every Sunday night. And yes, that means one less stream of gameplay a week, for sure. But you guys seem to like the streams. You've enjoyed the premise of me reacting to my old content. You've showed up, engaged, and supported those streams. So I'm okay with doing it weekly on Sunday nights, as long as you guys are okay with that. But we have to choose another game to start, not next week, but the week after. Okay? And there's been some debate on the channel on those streams about what we should do. It seems like a lot of people are interested in seeing me continue with the Dark Souls 1 run. If you remember... 
<laughs> no, I don't think they're doing a stream together. I don't think that's mm -hmm. going to happen. And I don't think do uh, Jay was for game? real. I, say early February, I think, quote unquote, he was being sarcastic. So did good. You guys really because like that's it. what unfunny then, people say when you don't get their jokes. He's like, dude, so it was a joke. Back, Obviously, look at this written text where you can't tell if he's joking or not. Isn't it obvious that he's joking? No. So you can't even tell. More but I mean, what do you expect from that guy? He was swinging on Review Tech USA's balls for like six years. Because of that, it could be cool to see. And that did nothing with it. Playthrough. <laughs> but also, it's just one of the more epic playthroughs that I've ever done. Um, a Rockstar game that's not GTA. And the only reason he exists right now is because Rich blatantly mistreated him. Good plot. And he treated him like a bitch and made him a victim. Um. What about Bioshock 1, the original playthrough from 2009? This is one of my oldest full playthroughs Man, this beer is dog shit. ever did on the internet. Five dollars from Quality's Popside terrible. Default. He says oh, man, he changed, but there's so many moments where he makes a joke a now and the old Phil will make like the same exact joke um, a second later, and he'll laugh. Yeah, did you, uh, have, have you watched those streams? I haven't. I really haven't. I don't get the appeal. It's kind of a one-trick pony type of thing. Where it's like a joke happens and then he justifies why that was okay back then, but now it's not. I I can't. I just can't. Up on the community tab of that channel, people to vote on what do you want to see next for Retro React, and based on that poll, it'll pick the next game. Um, and you know, I don't know. I really and we're still talking about polls and reactions. About like so we're still I want to see more running in place. I really liked doing that run but man i think bully sounds really interesting to me because i've never watched back that playthrough and everyone says it's an epic one from 11 years ago oh yeah because he failed all the exams and stuff Yo, especially geography science stu study because it's so old it's 2009 i hadn't even been making content for a year yet so to see one of my earliest playthroughs like that could be fascinating right <clears throat> Now, a couple things you may that say, spot oh, wait a minute. that i well, keep pointing out under his right ear it seems like it's getting darker. I don't know why. It just doesn't want to go away. Doing a classic. It's not okay, Phil. Example. You should go get checked uh, out. Fallout 3. It's not why fine. Is Fallout 3 a candidate? Well, there's a really good reason, okay? And I'm going to tell you the reason. I'm going to skip this ad because I want to tell you the reason. I don't want you to be interrupted. Sadly, the Fallout 3 playthrough has all of the music in it, okay? this I had the radio on for a lot of the playthrough. And the music's great, don't get me wrong. I think it's a really huge part of... Yeah, but it's gonna get claimed, okay. We get it. You're not gonna make a, a dollar. Okay? Man, this tickle in my throat is really bothering me now. It's pissing me off. Excuse me for one second. Doesn't he drink uh, coffee? Because he used to drink coffee on the, course, on the day stream the podcast, before. Right? With like a little thermos and everything. Anyway, the music in the Fallout 3 playthrough, the original one basically destroyed the playthrough and what i mean by that is um if i were to try to stream the game it might the stream might get shut down for the music and i know that sucks but <clears throat> it's just true like that old timey music sadly youtube has a big problem with it i went back and looked at my old fallout 3 playthroughs and just in the first 12 parts of fallout 3 seven of them are claimed <clears throat> Some are partially blocked in parts of the world, and that's going to be a problem for the stream, you know? Um, the thing is, if I just did the videos on demand as a React project, then probably they would just be claimed, but streaming that content is a risk. I know this from when I do DSP Reacts uh, and the clip show DSP versus the Internet. Stuff that would just get claimed, okay. sadly, the stream says... So <laughs> so what you're just telling us with extra steps is that you're going to do the thing, but turn off the music or you're not going to do it. So just don't do it. Detected copywritten content. You know, this stream. Must okay, just don't do it then. Like three minutes. Please stop broadcasting. If, if he's going to cry the whole time he's reacting to this playthrough, why even bother? Why? There's a million other playthroughs. Written content. And it's pretty ridiculous. That they would do that, but they do it all the time. So big ups to Ryan, who says uh, he said he couldn't skip ads; it didn't show, and etc. I don't know if uh, people are getting ads from him now or how the ad situation is, because I got ad block, so I wouldn't know. But I don't think he changed anything. That be restored. He just made a bunch of excuses and continued everything as is it, it is. What does that mean? We'll take a look at the playthroughs we're doing right now: Red Dead Redemption One and Final Fantasy Thirteen. 
Imagine if Fallout 3 got that same treatment, okay? Imagine if it didn't. Imagine if it gets put into 30 minute parts instead of 10 minute, upscaled quality, you know, better audio because the audio is terrible in that playthrough. And my editors work on trying to remove- My editors, look at this man. Look at this, how much prestige he puts on this. And I know it's, he has technically, he has editors because he got people working for him for free. But yesterday, not even 24 hours ago, he was justifying not paying them because they're volunteers. Or at least muffling it enough so Look at this bitch. He wants to be both. He wants to be the small time streamer that barely gets by and is a one man army and is pushing forward by himself. And also he wants to be the big baller that has a huge community of full of supporting people. He got editors working for him. From he got everything. Phil convinced me to get YT premium. Uh, you should get YouTube revanced. Don't pay YouTube, bro. Come on. It doesn't screw stuff up. Come on. Okay. Why would you do that? And that's what I'm wondering about. Get revanced mm -hmm. and get adblock. And do then don't watch anything on the TV or a console. Could we do it that way? Now we could. However. Basically, that's the workaround. But it's it. free. That's a lot of work. And, and then get a, a cracked Spotify. Interested in the playthrough. I think that's all I got. Interested in rewatching I don't even know how it's called. Let me check it out. But man, that's going to be a time commitment. You know, the Fall 3 playthrough is long. Yeah, it's called X Manager. So that's the thing. If we're going to ever... And no, that's not a porn app. Playthrough, it's Spotify. My editors would have to take a pass at it first to be sure that we could stream it. All right? So... You just can't download the songs. We'll think about that. All right? So, so for now, Fallout 3 is out. Maybe we could do Fallout 3 in the future. Okay? My other idea is Mass Effect 1. My original playthrough of Mass Effect 1 that I ever Well, Fright Side, that's nice ago. that you're watching it on the TV, but I don't run ads on my stuff. The floor um, from? So, and other memes you, you don't well. get to see them, the hopefully. The that's like but if YouTube runs ads on my stuff without my knowledge, I'm gonna be salty. You know, meme that came out of that playthrough. Um, <clears throat> so, those are what I'm going for. More Dark Souls 1, Bully, Original Bioshock playthrough or original Mass Effect 1 playthrough. Those are the four that I'm thinking of. All right. So unless you guys have other options or opinions, like, oh, man, I think this one would be better. Let's talk about it over the week. <clears throat> think about it. And then we're going to make that poll next week when I broadcast my. Oh, reaction. man, it's Monday, bro. It's Monday. And we're talking about running polls next week finish heavy rain are we really do we really have nothing else to talk about you guys will get to to help me figure out it's the monday start that voting okay now the other thing is as i just said red dead redemption one is about to finish it's about to be it's about to bust maybe another week to two weeks tops it will be done and i'm so, about to come unless we're just going to constantly work on final fantasy 13 which i could um to try to get it done it's actually about I looked at the folders yesterday, and I think there's six folders. I uploaded two folders of video. Big ups, Wesley H. Who asks, uh, why do throwback streams and not just so watch This Is How You Don't Play? Well, because This Is How You Don't Play is are in inherently negative. Uh, and then he'll be promoting troll content, effectively. And he wants to promote his own content, because it's amazing. Outside of the, the segments where it's not amazing and it's toxic. If we're alternating, if we're not alternating, present a prompt and there will be multiple options you can choose from. Yes, we should. This is how he should do everything. So we just uh, say what we're going to do and then explain what that means because some people might not understand. We may be able to finish it in like two, two and a half weeks. Okay. But I don't and know that's that's going to extend the duration of the, this podcast by hours. The shareholders are, are going to love this. This is going to create an insane amount of value for the shareholders. I'm going to see 13 every day. That's why we started alternating between that and Red Dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, if it's not, if we're not going to do Final Fantasy 13 every day, we need another playthrough. The question is, what should the playthrough be? Well, we got options. Big Ups Instamat says, uh, Do ugly Hawaiian shirts come with built-in cooling gel to fight the oppressive rent and heat waves? Big Ups Meerkat. Uh, I think they might come with um, specific fabric if he bought it from the Uniqlo store. Maybe it comes with like aerated fabric that allows your skin to breathe. It feels like you're not even wearing anything, dude. Okay. Oh, maybe if he doesn't want to feel so hot, he should shave all his body hair because he's as hairy as a hog. Like literally, 
This dude is so fucking hairy, you wouldn't it's, believe. It's many hours, I think, I want to say it's like five to six hours of gameplay. So, it would be a, a big series of like 12 parts. That's why he's like always that. hot. It's not, let me put it this way. Or maybe it's just uh, menopause. The raw gameplay is not the most entertaining thing. There are moments in the gameplay that are absolutely epic and fun. But the raw gameplay isn't so interesting. Because me and, and John Rambo kind of wandering around trying to figure out what kind of stunts can we pull? What kind of stuff can we do that would be interesting to the audience? And a lot of the time it's us experimenting and it doesn't work or it's just kind of boring. But when we make something work, like when we all get in a stagecoach and we jump off of a waterfall, it's epically funny. Bro, it's not. <laughs> okay. It's only funny like once. So that's a possibility. All right. Of something that we could definitely do. Um, Because it's like you're jumping from the same places and you just like lose your mind. It's only funny if you're super drunk and only the first time. But it wouldn't be super long. <clears throat> and we are just coming off of Red Dead Redemption 1. Oh, yeah. That's the Dennis Nightmare. Nedry shirt. There's also Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. That's the one. That's also lost to time. It's not on the internet anymore. I mean, it's but not terrible. I, I just think Halloween. the I pattern Halloween. itself is a little bit too excessive. There's just too much going on. It could be a little bit more simple. Um, so, of all the videos that are for posterity purposes... Posterity you know, purposes? Or what does that even mean? Suicide Kings co-op or Undead Nightmare. But, like I said, we could do something else. If you guys wanted to see if we took a stab at Fallout 3... Or you want to see us take a stab at another old playthrough where the videos are the camera at the TV and it could benefit from editing into 30 minute parts and upscaling and audio wiping and things like that. Let me know. We have to figure this out essentially within the next two weeks. Okay? <clears throat> so please give me your feedback on that and we will talk about it. And similarly, we're, how we're going to have a poll next week for the next Retro React. I'd like to do a poll on the throwback channel for the next actual posterity what, project. What, what do you say? Audio wiping? After Red Dead ends, okay? What is that even supposed to mean? So, let me know your ideas. Does anyone else uh, have any whatever. ideas of things for DSP throwback? I'll let be me honest. Know. Okay? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Eternal Apop says Darksiders. You mean the original Darksiders playthrough? Wow. That's an old one. Yeah, exactly okay. zero people well, are asking for that. So that's what's going on with the React content. Except for the sure that one guy who asked rate. for it. One part is live, and a new part will go live for the next four days on the DSP Throwback channel. So go check that out and get caught up, because next weekend is the conclusion. FYI, if you become a member on that channel, you can access the archive streams right away. You won't have to wait all week to see it. You can actually watch the whole thing in its entirety right now. Okay? <clears throat> cool. All right. Today... It's only one stream day. I've explained why. It's Baldur's Gate 3. We're going to try to get through the Castle Door Mansion and beyond. We'll see what happens. Tomorrow, it is more Baldur's Gate 3 paired with Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. The push for co game completion continues. It's funny because more than one person have kind of drawn out this checklist for me. What's remaining that's memorable to do or important to do in Act 3 of Baldur's Gate? And it's like, so finish the Castle Door Mansion, the Shadow Heart Mission... The will mission. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm burping and I can't concentrate when I'm burping. Um, oh, got to defeat Orin. Got to defeat... Uh, <clears throat> what's his name? The guy running the city. I forgot his name right now. It's, it's Gortash. Yeah, got to beat Gortash. The way to beat Gortash is, is different. Bro. You either do the Iron Throne and shut down his Sentinels or... No. Oh, I can skip this. Yes. Yes. I'm so happy right now. So, yeah, if we beat it in the next week and it's like a 60-hour... What are we talking about? We're still talking about the same thing, aren't we? Aren't we? Oh, thank God it's buffering. It's gonna give us a little bit more sweet... Sweet skip juice. The yeah. skip spice. <clears throat> All right. The Guys, spice. I have to blow my nose, so I'm going to use the new feature where I pause recording, and I'll be right back. The new feature. Okay, I paused recording. I'm going to go blow my nose. <laughs> okay, go fuck off, man. Go blow your fucking nose. God damn it. <laughs> uh, did he mute? Oh, maybe he doesn't have to mute because uh, he's got the, the filters now. You see, this is an advanced podcast. Don't be misled by how pathetic it looks. It's actually like level 1,000. It's just it just says level one at the top because it can't fit all the zeros. It's like they just go on and on and on. 
Uh, I I hate his layout so much, man. It looks like a a legitimate layout from like 2007 on some like shady website somewhere where it's like you you download pirated ROMs of Super Mario. Hmm. Everything mm. sucks about it. It's just terrible. Okay, I'm ready to come back. I hope this throat thing stops bothering me because man, it tickled me like three times. And when that happens, it all my sinuses go crazy. From and that's what's did you see the IGN article video did about the Refi remake? I liked the game. I was hoping they would remake it, and now I can't wait to buy it day one. Oh, they are doing it. Uh, I haven't seen anything about it. I was pretty busy today, so happening right now. I don't know, but it's cool. RE5, that's the one that yes, starts in Africa, you right? You emo? It's my I think chair. so. It is a chair emo. So I played I it with a with a friend when I was a kid in co-op. It was chill. And the chick is hot. Where are you going? Oh, because he has a chair emote. Because now it's a meme that many times during his stream, he just gets up and leaves. And you get to look at his empty chair. Oh, it's the chair. Why, why are all of his memes just negative? All of his memes are just like, one of them is that you should eat shit out of his ass because you're an idiot. And the other one is that he's just not on stream. Chair stream will not Why don't you have some positive memes? Chair emote to use if you're a member. How cool is that? <clears throat> very nice. Okay, you guys How ready? cool is go. that? Well, not very uh, not very cool. Okay, I'm back. So, hopefully the pause feature is working well for those on demand. Obviously those on the stream, I couldn't fast forward time. But welcome back. All right. So, schedule-wise this week, Baldur's Gate 3 today, no late stream tonight, Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon tomorrow, Baldur's Gate and Like a Dragon Wednesday. I'm off from streaming on Thursday, but because I'm playing Dragon's Dogma 2 on Friday, I'm going to download the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator ahead of time. I'm going to create my character, and my wife is going to create a pawn for me, and we're going to have those import into the playthrough on Friday. So what does this mean? <clears throat> It means I will not have to do character creation on Friday when we start Dragon's Dogma 2. My character will already exist, and so will the pawn. So we can jump right into the game, all right? Which will be nice to not have to waste like a half an hour or more creating all these characters. Lurking. So that should be fun. And Friday, yes. Uh, big ups, for, Ethan, for the sub, dude. I'll be playing Dragon's Dogma big ups 2 to lurking. all day Friday. First okay. and second stream. We jump Good. right into the gameplay. Yeah, that was obvious. I don't know why he had to talk about this for like two weeks. It was obvious he's going to play it. But I know it's Because he's in poverty mode right now. Shit is real bad. And he could use a fresh new game. And that's a fresh new game. And uh, it should be a good old time. But then on Saturday, we're It's just a no-brainer. Like Cat. And like a dragon because we have to finish these games. Sunday will be React Day. Monday will be Baldur's Gate 3 like a dragon. And we'll keep that schedule going until Baldur's Gate 3 and or like a dragon are done. <clears throat> and as soon as one concludes, we jump into Dark Dragon's Dogma 2 full time as a main game on the streams, okay? Now, once we get them both done, we have a big decision to make. Do I want to do Dragon's Dogma 2 and do I want to bring back Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth? Oh or god fucking damn it. Dragon's Dogma 2 fucking scheduled game. piece of shit. I'm skipping as much as possible. RPGs. Now, <clears throat> in addition to all of that, my birthday is coming on Saturday, April 6th. He will drop just like FF7 if it makes no money. Uh, most probably, yeah. And he's going to blame it on the, the whole RPG shenanigans. But I, I, I think it might make money. Wesley H. He'll monetize that level of negativity, chair a mode, but won't have TTS tips, watch TIHYDPs, or well, to detract of its. What well, Uber? Like, like you can see on my streams, TTS sometimes um, kind of derails stuff and, and mess with the pace. And he always needs to have full control over the stream. So TTS is never happening. He's just simply not doing it. It's going and also giving people power to say whatever they want on a DSP stream, this will never happen. Be Phil's birthday bash. Look at this dude. 2024. 42 years old, calling it a birthday bash straight up all right like little children are embarrassed to do this what are we going to do on that day well it's going to be a marathon event number one we are going to go through the gaming schedule together we're going to look at game release dates and pick and choose the games that we are both most interested in so we can have a schedule set out <clears throat> and you guys will know exactly what i'm going to be playing over the next you know summer months into the fall uh and that way what we can do is fill in the blanks like let's say there's a month where there's only one or two releases 
Well, that's the month that we could do this downtime stuff that we've been waiting to do. Or we could play games like Rise of the Ronin or something that I've skipped. We could fit those into the schedule. Oh, so okay. we're going to play <clears throat> games from punished lasagna. and eat There's food. There's no universe where he would skip a major Capcom game. He's so predictable. Well, uh, I, I don't know if it's uh, necessarily Capcom, but it's just a major new release people are excited for. So he kind of has to play it. Because right now, yeah, it's it's good. not doing good. I'm gonna order some food it's not back, doing good. If he ends uh, Baldur's yeah, Gate 3, he's completely game. lost. A, a he needs a new pay pay cuck game. Celebration that day. Will there be some booze? Yes. What booze? Booze? I, I still have the Long Island iced tea. Yeah, you know what, Phil? You know what we should do? We should start planning what alcohol you're going to drink. What is it? Three weeks from now? Yes. We should do exactly that. Let's let's do that, Phil, because we got to have everything scheduled. And why why don't we just talk about it every single day leading up to the event itself? Because that might change. You might decide to not have a Long Island iced tea, and you might want to have a beer instead. Or you might want to have something else instead. Or at the end of the month, when you spend all your money, you might act like you're broke instead, like you did last time. You remember the last event, the Super Bowl event? When he said that he's too poor to even buy alcohol for the event, so he wanted to get some beers? Legitimately, that's what happened. The the Super Bowl event last month, I haven't drank any more of it, so we haven't... But the other day, they asked him, Hey, Phil, do you have uh, regular uh, financial problems? And he gave you like a 10-minute segment about how that's not actually financial problems, but um, a paraphrasing of financial problems. Uh, I'll probably get some more alcohol at some point. And figure out want to do sh you know some shots or some mixed drinks or something so i'll have some alcohol over the course of the day outside of that stuff i don't know what else we'll be doing and i guess what we need to do is we need to figure out exactly uh what it is that you want to see what do you want to see on that stream do you want to see me do some random multiplayer do you want to see cat come on the stream and kind of hang out for a little bit if yeah we're just it. we're just using cat as a gimmick literally you want or maybe we'll do some of the beyond two souls cat is then. just another gimmick she's just another dunce lord to be waved in your face hey do, do you like that fat bitch i can i can bring her out do you like her you, you guys like her hey, together would you like to just have a, a, a session where we hang out we talk for a couple hours right we could do whatever um let me know what you think because we have less than two weeks to plan this event that's right it, i take that back we have less than three weeks to plan this event it's april 6th so we basically have a little bit over two weeks. It's two weeks from this coming Saturday. And obviously, <clears throat> obviously I'm gonna hammer out the topics that things will be discussing and or the segments we'll be doing during that event so people know what to, to think of. And of course, it's my birthday. So hopefully we'll have some festive fun here together, okay? Festive fun. That's a nice buzzword combo. All right. Oh yeah, brother. That's that. That's what I had to talk about today. That was a lot to cover. So I hope that you enjoyed. What I like to do now is a little bit of what we like to call around here, DSP News. <clears throat> hey, what do we gonna talk about That's today? Right. It's time to talk Who about failed? gaming news today. Whose grave are we dancing on today? To cover today. Story number one. Okay. According to Bloomberg, Sony Group Corporation has paused production on the PlayStation VR 2 entirely. Good. They're not even making any more of them. Good. I say, why? Because it needs to clear a backlog of unsold units. Huh? Yes, the reports are now... What is the huh for? What do you not understand? PSVR 2 is a giant flop. Unlike PS and again, so we're dancing on the grave of PSVR. That answers my question. Thank you, Phil. Quite well. Like, bro, he only fucking reads the negative news. It's like the most clickbait fucking news guy ever. When was the last time he read something positive and was like, hey, this is a cool new thing. I'm hoping it, it comes out and it's so much fun and everybody enjoys it. When was the last time this happened? Every time I think about him covering news, it's something toxic as fuck. Today might be the day he actually choke on phlegm. Uh, it is possible. Today is really bad. The throat is like, he can barely get through a sentence. Much on worse on than usually. the mainstream console audience, PSVR 2 has not. And experts are citing an incredible lack 
of interesting game releases. If you take a look at the PSVR 2 since it came out, what was it, two years ago, you know, one year ago? Who even remembers, right? Because honestly, unlike the PSVR 1, which did make waves, if you remember, <clears throat> when the PSVR 1 came out, there was a ton of flagship titles for it that everyone kind of talked about for a while. There was the Batman VR game. There was Job Simulator for the first time on a console. Ah, uh, yes, Job Simulator. Games, remember? I think even, um, didn't even one of the, like, choose-your-own-adventure-style studios make one, and that was the one that had the heist, and it had you were in the cage with the with the the sea life around you, and a shark comes at you and stuff. So it was gimmicky, sure. Oh, yeah, it even had the Until Dawn tie. Remember that? The Until Dawn on-rail shooter? <clears throat> so here's the thing. Basically, the games were definitely gimmicky, but they did catch on for a while. Notably, if you remember, Resident Evil 7, which was a flagship title for PSVR 2 or VR 1 because it, it came out only a few months before and then it had a compatibility patch and it worked with VR and a lot of people liked playing Final Fantasy, I said Final Fantasy, Resident Evil 7 in VR. They liked that first person. You can aim with your head and stuff like that. They found it very fun. <clears throat> but PSVR 2, when it released, which again, I can't even remember when it released because that's how much of a kind of a fart it is, right? It's a fart in the wind. Um, Bro, you can't yeah, remember anything. It's not really a good game, point. Which was hilarious because they were like, oh, the Horizon game will be the Oh, look at him, bro. He Horizon hates everything. Everything sucks. As well as they wanted it to. It was considered... By the way, by the way, this guy, gaming is his passion. Look at how passionate he is to hate on everything. Everything is dog shit and it sucks. It's terrible. And he hopes it fails because it was stupid to begin with. For me. So if their major flagship title on the console sold underperforming, what made you think the VR title was going to sell well? It's like they put all their eggs in this basket and no one bought the basket, <laughs> right? So the eggs are just sitting there rotting away. Outside of that, though, like what other PSVR 2 games can you mention has anyone really talked about at all? Have you heard about a single major game in PSVR 2? I haven't. And I keep um, my ear to the ground sex when it simulator when it comes to hype and social media. E e beggar simulator anyone talking about it unlike psvr1 where there definitely was some hype for about a year there's nothing it's as if this thing doesn't exist everyone talked about the horizon game at launch and that was it no one has been discussing this thing and so come to find out yeah it's because there's no games there's literally nothing for this worth playing so it, even though it has better technology no one bought it it's just sitting on shelves collecting dust and I've been talking about this recently, right? I've been saying, listen, is there an audience for VR? They're absolutely oh, if it's so if it's sitting on shelves collecting dust, it's basically just like all of DSP's consoles. It really is, but it's not who Sony thinks it is. The mainstream gamer is not interested in putting on an intrusive headset and these waggle controllers or whatever <clears throat> and needing to have the proper spacing and everything in order to play VR. They're not. There's an enthusiast who is for it, but they already have it. They already bought the MetaQuest. They already have, the, what's the other, the HTC Vive or whatever it's called. They already have two or three of these devices for their PC already, because they're PC gamers. Those are the enthusiasts for VR, not console gamers. There's just really no market for it on consoles right now. Now, if you remember, a few weeks ago, or a month ago, there was an announcement that PSVR 2 is now being researched to be compatible with PC. And at that time, I made the statement, well, wait, if PSVR 2 does actually become compatible with PC, that's amazing, because imagine you're going to get all the PlayStation-exclusive VR games and ports, because there's a lot of games that are ported to work with VR after the fact, but you also will be able to play all the amazing and pre-existing good VR games that are currently only available on PC. Now, that's an idea, and I would guarantee you that's why Sony's doing that. If Sony had a great lineup of games on PlayStation 5 for the VR 2, and it was selling, they wouldn't care about making it compatible with PC. But they don't. They invented the technology, but they didn't make any demand for it because there's nothing to play on it. You see? <clears throat> yeah, I miss your it's super chat. Sorry about that. That 
Sony did this. Like, even when they were sh uh, showing this off over the last few years, yep. people were like, oh, he loves dancing on the grave of anything that he doesn't like fails. The PSVR he only talks about negative news because the real Phil is a toxic negative asshole. Well, we know that, but he could pretend at least if this is such a positive, meaningful, and entertaining show, he can at least read a, a positive news every once in a while. On console, there's like at least be like, whoa, this game off. sold a million copies. Well, that's awesome. Community, but now, in other news, uh, Elon Musk is a fucking idiot. <laughs> at least we can do that. So, I guess we'll see what happens, but you know, this is, I hate to say it, this is kind of an I told you so moment. There we go. Really that's the whole point. Too expensive, no games, because no one's going to care about the Horizon game. No one cared about the regular Horizon game. So, why are they going to care about the VR version? I was dead on correct. This thing has, they should have listened to him. And they're not even going to make any more until people buy the existing ones that are literally just sitting there collecting dust. Okay? <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, I have one other news story for today. It ain't a good one. Of course it's not. Because DSP's reading it. <laughs> I had a heck of a stream playing the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Which is one of the worst released games of recent memory. It is pretty much completely unplayable, <clears throat> at least on console. I don't know how bad it is on PC, but on console, the collection is a joke. It runs absolutely horribly. Um, it, it's janky. You teleport all over the place because of the lag. The hit detection is atrociously bad. It's just an awful experience all around. I don't know how they released it like that. Now, supposedly, the game developer, uh, Asper, is claiming that they are going to actively patch it and improve it, and they apologize, and they said they're going to fix it, Okay. Well, <clears throat> something happened overnight. Very bad. All right, you ready for this? A popular modder of the original Battlefront games. So keep in mind something. I have to, I have to bring this up because you, you need a little bit of a preface to understand the story. The original Star Wars Battlefront games released in the early 2000s. I think the first one was 2004. And I think Battlefront 2 was either 2005, 2006, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> I could be wrong. But I think that's about the time frame they released. Huge games. Oh, he said. He said Asper. So Very the nice. That's like Asper True. Uh, it's actually a spire, but you're not supposed to know. It's a secret. Nobody knows. Can still be playable online and things like that. Well, <laughs> oh, man, in the modding this, community, this guy. a popular modder has come out and said, I am insulted because, ladies and gentlemen, at least on the Nintendo Switch version, they're not sure if it's present in every version of this collection, but at least in the Nintendo Switch version, it has launched with all of this modder's content in the game. And they said they've confirmed it through testing because the animations that they put into the game for the heroes have glitches and bugs that are replicated by the modder now that they own the Switch version of the game and it wasn't present in the original games. In addition... They were never contacted to be asked for the. Oh, yeah, I saw about this. This is toxic as fuck. Compensated Those motherfuckers. The, mods in the, game. <clears throat> the audacity. So apparently, they stole the mods and just put them in thinking, oh, well, no one will notice. Well, this blew up overnight. There was tons of different, you know, Battlefront and Star Wars related media covering this story. This one, Kyber, the Battlefront 2 custom account or whatever, says the following. We are saddened to see the abhorrent treatment and blatant exploitation of modder's uncredited work in the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Asper assured the community this would not happen after suspicions were roused prior to the launch. And despite this, you know, the game, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so, oh, the question is, what is this? Could a company take modder's content without their permission and actually put it into a retail product that they sell for profit? Technically, if, if it is in the terms of service, they could. If they just say... Everything that you make based on the source files of the game can be used in the game, and we don't have to pay you for it. They can totally make it. Well, they totally person, can. It's literally their otherwise. game. This is a Clone Trooper 163. Well, you know, they don't have to credit him. It clearly states in Battlefront's EULA, which is their agreement, they can use any mods without any permission. And 99% of the modder's work was already using in-game assets that weren't ever his anyway. People get pissed when this happens, but you agree to these things when you actually buy the game. So is that true? <clears throat> is it true that if he modded the game, 
and never got legal permission to do so, does that mean that they could do whatever they want with his modded content and they get away with it scot-free? What is the legality of the situation? Nobody knows as of yet, but it's a developing story and I guarantee you people are going to figure this out. All right, people are going to say, is it legal or not? I'm going to be honest yes, with you. Yes, it is I'm legal. Towards, it probably is legal for them to do it because if the modder just took the code from the game they didn't make, they didn't have permission to modify it. They just modified it and then they shared it with an online community and people enjoyed those modifications. To but bro, game. like, why couldn't you bother to do like 30 seconds of research? Because like, I don't have to do it, even though I'm curious, but I'm just too lazy to do it right now. This is the guy who covers the news. Instead of just sitting around jerking himself off speculating about stuff, which is something that he hates, by the way, people mindlessly speculating about stuff, he could have just looked it up. Technically, he doesn't own it. The work was done with other things that, you know, you didn't own. You know, if an artist <clears throat> goes ahead and breaks into an artist supply store and steals all the ingredients to make an epic sculpture but everyone knows that it's stolen but no one cares no one prosecutes the sculptor they just let him go and sculpt a big artistic sculpture out in the square of the stolen goods that he just stole and he makes an epic sculpture well is that work of art his technically he made it it's his artistic vision but it's stolen goods he stole the things to make the sculpture from the store next door and everyone knows he stole it so does the store have the right to now claim that sculpture and say, no, that's made from our ingredients. That's our sculpture. Oh, bro. What if, um, what if a sandwich shop? No, never mind. I'm not, I'm not even going to start with this. Happened? One. I don't think so. So without any kind of maybe uh, legal precedent, I'm not even going to start. An answer. However, they do have a point here <clears throat> with these terms of service. All right. In the, in the place for a game, if you bought the game and then you modded it, and that goes against the terms of service. Do you technically own the mods that you made? I don't know. I, here's the thing. You know, it's just going to be a big, a big question of. Hey, big ups for the membership, Sewer Slime. I just what? don't know why this right didn't come up in the chat. Right. It's either At YouTube's point, fault or it's Stream Elements' fault. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill somebody in real versus, life. Oh, it's something creative you made, but you don't technically own it, right? It, it's, it, it really is a gray area. It really, really is because, for example, on YouTube. Let's say, for example, right now, I want to react to someone's content on YouTube. So I do. I have the legal right to do that. But I only have the legal right to put the video out. When it comes to the monetization rights, usually oh, YouTube leans towards the original. Five. I'm sorry that Monaco on your dick just broke. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't see that, man. I was looking at the, at the feed trying to figure out what's going on. God damn. <laughs> so, for example, right now, the massive if ear I was dig. watching... Someone's and then he wonders why he used to get ear infections. They well, it was obviously because of the headphones. And say, no, I own the copyright to that video. And I could, of course, try to dispute it. But a lot of the times, YouTube will instead just do a content ID match and say, so you can make your video. That's fine. Your video exists. But you don't own the advertisement rights to it. The original uploader has that. So they're going to make money on your video. This happens all the time with my React show. ESP versus the internet. Almost every episode that I upload is claimed by a third party and they're making money on my work. And I have no legal way to stop that unless I get a lawyer and sue. Okay? But, so that's what I mean. In this case, maybe it was legal dude. for the modder to make the modded content and it's okay. The creative vision is theirs and it's their content. But guess who has the right to monetize it? The original creator of the game. So technically, maybe they're in the right here. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what I'm asking as well. The brown no. spot under the right I ear. Don't know. I don't know at on all. On this side, you can see it. Could they, maybe they should have given credit. Maybe the issue here is... On our game. left side, his right side. He got a big brown spot. It's very well, obvious. This game will feature... It's kind of like it's kind of like the one he had on his hand like a year ago or something when, when he was talking about the ooze. It, it's very concerning because these, like... These skin conditions can get very dangerous if they don't, they don't get treated. I have a skin condition. It's not very serious. I treat it. I wash my face. I put some creams on and I'm good. But with him, he doesn't give a fuck about his uh, health. So that's going to be bad. By the community and here's a shout out list of the community. I don't know enough to try and diagnose him, but. And we put these into the uh, yeah. to make it better. Could not be good. I don't know, but they didn't do any of that. They literally just have them in the game without saying shit, right? <clears throat>
Here's some of the thoughts of my chatters here. You know says, it's disingenuous of a company to take credit for something they didn't do. They're caught lying and that shows bad faith. What else did they pilfer to get the game made? No, I don't got the ooze. Darcy it's more like uh, dry last. skin. This happened with Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. I'm not oozing. Used in that too. Wow. <clears throat> and of course, Eternal Napalm says, well, at least we have honest games like the day before. There you go. Um, well, there you go. See, this is interesting. Zero says Crystal Dynamics actually hired some of the Tomb Raider modders in order to make the remasters, and that's good faith. Got paid for their work. So this is a hot topic. I feel like this will continue. You know, this, this collection just came out, and what it was is a lot of people were like, okay, so we're going to wait for the collection to be fixed, and then we're going to play it. But now with this issue, finding that there's modern content in there that's not even cited, claimed, uh, or, or shouted out properly. Yeah. You know, I, I don't understand, like, what's so hard about a company that has a, you know, a pretty reasonable budget to reach out to the guy who has already made the mod, offer him some kind of payment. Like, I'm not saying you got to go too crazy, just a couple hundred bucks maybe. And offer to give him some kind of a, you know, a mention in the game in the credits or something, and then just use his mod. ...given to the original creator of it. And then you just encourage more mods that are even more elaborate and sophisticated, because then people are going to care about it. I think a lot of people are going to, like, boycott this collection now, which sucks for me, because I own it, and I can't refund it because it's on PS5. So I was thinking maybe I would go back to it. Seriously, I was like, oh, maybe I'll wait a few weeks, and I'll try it again. It could be a fun game every once in a while to play at night. But now I get the feeling no one's going to play it. Like, it's probably just going to be a dead game now because no one's going to want to play a game that they stole modders' content. It's like, ugh, fucking shitballs. Well, I, I don't think myself. that's really a Man, deal breaker. I really nerf herded myself right into this one. <laughs> I really just, you know, I'm really sucking the Sarlacc balls on this one, man. I don't know what's um, going on. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I must have. I, I don't think the Sarlacc yeah. has balls. Anyway. <laughs> Isn't that just a big worm like in Dune? I just clicked the wrong thing. That's not what I meant to click. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's the news for today. I hope you found it. Yeah, it's literally just live. just that. Um, or... Let's get to shout out. Oh, well, we? there, there are some Let's kind start. of balls. So wait, uh, this of... this was the podcast Now we just do shout outs and then we're going to meander for like half an hour. God damn it. Yeah, there's some kind of balls, but they're like subterranean balls. It's, uh, it's a very elaborate. It does matter. Never mind. Thing today, we have absolutely nothing. No super chats, no memberships, no re-upping of memberships. Oh, and no nothing. gifted memberships. We're in poverty no mode. Stickers. Yeah, you should talk for like six Let more hours. Maybe YouTube. somebody's gonna tip you a we'll dollar. Start off with a tip, a ten dollar tip, and that tip has come from August. I would love to see Bully again. I love that game, and I love your playthrough of it. We have a vote for Bully. And I love you, Phil. Please marry me. There you go. Thank you. I'm all gonna you suck your sausage. Day. I appreciate that. The animation play? Yes, it did. Even when the even when the website is lagging, the animation plays anyway, so I guess that's a good thing. So thank you, August. And by the way, I should say this. I've really enjoyed having the Kazuma Kiryu animations for tips this month. However, the Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth playthrough is coming to a close. So if anyone would be interested in maybe making some new animations for the streams, uh... You know, for contributions coming up, you know, some big playthroughs coming up. Obviously, Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> oh, I'm actually, I just noticed. I'm actually the, the top one. reply yeah, under the the J there. Review Tech yeah, USA like boyfriend possibly, tweet. Uh, make animations. Okay. And I, and that's my uh, my less toxic oh, cool. one. Because uh, then I had another toxic right. one. The, but that one was a okay, quote tweet. Oh, man. Oh, and uh, did I tell you guys somebody stole my fucking post and got like 100k likes? God damn it. I'm going to I'm gonna show you. I was so okay. salty. Not like, like in, in reality salty, but to shout out. come on. Because yeah. I stole that post from somebody else. So if any contributions come uh, But in, you're not supposed to know I that. I absolutely That's a will shout them out. However, uh, where was it? being that it's already past noon, I do not want to do. Oh, man. I post so much shit. What the fuck? This. All right, last few times that I've done the suggestion box. All right, a lot of people. Yeah, look like, at this dude. When you do the okay, shut the fuck up for a second. So this guy posts, and I want you to pay very close attention to the phrasing of this post. Breaking with two siren emojis. Tragic news and thousands in mourning as YouTuber Keemstar has been found alive in his home in Buffalo, New York, this morning. This got four million views and one seventy-six thousand likes and then somebody else by the name of um me 
posted this tweet on the 22nd of December, 2023, that says, two siren emojis, breaking, tragic news, and thousands in mourning, as live streamer Darkside Phil has been found alive in his home in Renton, Washington this morning. It's literally verbatim copy-pasted, bro, verbatim. And I only got 800 likes. Look at this. I could have paid all my bills if I got a couple more. Box, Look at this. This is identity right. theft. And if they the stole case, my everything. I live on Twitter. When, when the suggestion box, the point of the suggestion box. Now let's listen to this. To be constructive criticism, saying, "Here's a suggestion for you that perhaps would help you to improve and grow." All right. What I'm getting a lot in the suggestion box are very very big like demands like it's not oh so you should really do this thing because this will improve your the moment he starts talking about the suggestion box this stream is now a 10 out of 10. i don't know how he does it it's amazing content it's more like i just don't like this so stop doing it that's not constructive criticism but yes it is criticism is Listen, here's something that you can do to improve. Here's why it would improve your content. And here's, you know, some examples of how it would either benefit you or how it's benefited others. And we feel it will apply to your content or how people have said that this is something beneficial. That's different from, I just don't like your podcast, so stop doing it. Or shorten your podcast dramatically. And then I explain, well, I don't understand why you would ask that because all evidence well they explain the in excruciating detail really well. the viewership on the podcast has done well engagement during the podcast is great i've actually had some days where all my support came in during the podcast and when i started playing the game the oh damn stream dried up we lost aren't, aren't you a gameplay streamer for the rest of the stream there's something there wrong in this picture phil more style of podcast why are you asking for less podcast and every time i say that i don't get a valid response i just get oh i think it's boring i want more gameplay make the podcast shorter that's not constructive criticism. That's your personal demands. I don't need personal demands. I don't want to know specifically what you like and don't like. That's not suggestion. Wait, wait, what? I don't want to know what you like and not like? That's your own like pet peeves with my content. That's not- But that's like, what is a suggestion? What is it? It's a su suggestion is somebody's opinion. In my opinion, I would enjoy it more if you did this. And I suggest that you do this because me and maybe other of your viewers are going to enjoy it more. What are we fucking talking about? Criticism. You understand the difference? If you're going to say, I think this should change or improve, you have to justify with a good reason why. There are people that wrote paragraphs explaining why. Paragraphs. Explaining why Cat is boring when she's on stream. Explaining why the podcast sucks. Why it's too long. They explain everything. Not that you personally don't like it, all right? There's tons of things I personally don't like on the internet, but I don't go to them and complain about them. I just don't partake in them then. You see the difference? Constructive criticism would be like, for example, what OP Boone has been doing, <clears throat> where he's been saying, hey, here's a suggestion. Oh, yeah, he's he been sucking on your foreskin. That's what he's been doing. Implement. That's why it's constructive, because he talks to you like you're actually brain damaged. That'll probably make your content better. Now, sometimes I take OP Boone's suggestions and I implement them and it works really well and we get big improvements. Literally what I just did earlier during the show where I did the pause recording and stop and resume recording, that was him. And I'm gonna use that from now on when I need to like get out of the chair to do stuff like today. Yeah, but how does that help me as a viewer? How does that make my experience better that you get to pause the fucking recording? Why do I give a fuck about this? That helps you. Jasper's in the office, but Cat will come home at some point during the stream, and instead of saying, I'm So it's almost like everything is about Phil. And the, the stream itself is about Phil. The, the entertainment he produces is about him. It's not for the customer of his fucking business, it's for him. An empty chair here for five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna hit that pause and resume recording. He's literally like a Kitchen Nightmares owner, man. Just go watch like five episodes, and you're gonna find like almost everybody is exactly like him or has so many qualities that are exactly like his that's an awesome piece of constructive criticism that has improved my content but i'm not always going to take what op boone says and do it for example yesterday he had the suggestion about ripping the news segment out of my streams oh, look, look. and sending it I up as separate videos to be separate mold on frontal lobe and these statements <laughs> lend credence to that 
How that extremely large ocean mammal of a wife chooses to stay with this cretin is uh, She got no choice. Homeless under a bridge, at least you're not a slave today, SP. Yeah, but are you gonna get fed elite cuisine? I don't think so. I don't think so. We promoted and everything. Oh, I would man. like to do that, but I don't have the means to. Nor do my editors who are working on the throwback. My channel. editors. I'm gonna tell them, stop working on the throwback content to come over here and do this instead. I'm gonna yeah, uh, Declan, you're absolutely correct, because I watched that episode too. The Mill Street Bistro episode, that guy, Joe Negi, is exactly like Phil. Except I've seen some follow-ups from the show that uh, include people who have actually interacted with Joe that say that he's not that bad. And maybe long-term, like I said, maybe if I had a... So Phil is much worse than that guy. Paying, ...who could sit here every day and sift through all my content and edit parts out, then I could do that. That's how other YouTubers do it. They have employees to do it for them, not volunteers. But I don't have an employee because I can't afford one because I'm not big enough to have an employee. Yeah, so you have editors, but not employees. So you got slaves, Phil. You got slaves. Criticism. I don't get mad at OP Boone because he made a suggestion that doesn't work. I just explain why. But when your suggestion box input is, I don't like this because you don't like, like for yesterday, I don't like that you advertise for 10 to 30 minutes demanding income. I don't do that. That literally doesn't happen. There's never been an instance where I'm playing a video game like this and I say, well, guys, I've had it. You're not contributing to Oh me. my God, we're getting I'm this again. I refuse to play until someone contributes. I'm gonna turn my camera off and I'm not turning it on until someone contributes. So this is gotta... this is a suggestion about not doing the suggestion box. Uh, excuse me, it's a segment about not doing the suggestion box. Hey, uh, it's not even the suggestion box that segment. Never happened in the 16 years that I've made content. Uh, nobody it's said you do that. Sense that people would say shit like that. Nobody said you do that. Suggestion box. It's like that literally doesn't. Ha you're citing things that don't happen and telling me not to do them. They're not citing they that. Happen. But the problem is you're watching detractor content. And there the you detractors go only emphasize shit that makes me look bad they will act like that because there's just so just much happen. of it like oh you see he did that or he did you know he does it doesn't happen the shit that they're saying happens doesn't happen but if you just sit there and you watch the drama content then you complain about drama there's one person to blame you you're the one who watched the drama it's content your fault because you wanted drama <laughs> it's so it's your fault you don't like phil don't ask for less drama that doesn't exist you created it Again, if people would just watch this content, if you would be here every day for the show and hang out with me, you would realize that most of the complaints about the show don't exist. Wait a minute, I like the show. Why would I want the podcast to be shorter? People are hanging out, having a fun conversation. Everyone's having a good time. Why would we want a shorter podcast, right? Wait a minute, advertisement? He didn't even advertise. I haven't yet. Have I said a word about contributions today? I think I did talk about the throwback channel. Well, you, you said that there's nothing on the YouTube side of stuff, and you were very disappointed, so that implies that you expected to have contributions on the YouTube side of stuff, Phil. But that was it. Or No, I wasn't the throwback channel. It was actually the react channel. I haven't said anything about it on this stream about it, right? And we're a good hour in. So what are you talking about? It doesn't exist. You made it up because you listened to the wrong people. Bruh. Right? <clears throat> you should listen to this guy that is actively trying to manipulate your opinion of him literally is trying to manipulate how you look at him so you can look at him in a positive light so there is some chance that you're going to give him money that's what it's all about it's as simple as this it's just so fucking transparent it's narcissism anyway, 101 it's the most basic that's form I say when I emphasize i don't mind doing the suggestion box it's just that what you're noticing is a lot of the suggestions are not suggestions they're demands of little pet peeve stuff that doesn't benefit the business if I were to do it. No. Really? Shortening the podcast when all evidence is saying the podcast is doing better than a lot of the gameplay streams doesn't make sense. Just because you don't like the podcast doesn't mean that I have to change it. It means that you need to adhere to a schedule. You know when the podcast starts and ends, so come after the podcast ends. And if you have a problem with that, I don't know what to tell you because in life, you're going to have to learn how to read and adhere to schedules. And if you can't do that, you're going to have a pretty miserable life. So wait, 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 you fucking dipshit motherfucker. I have to adhere to your schedule? Who the fuck do you think you are? Who do you think you fucking are, my teacher? I don't have to adhere to shit, you say. Nobody does, because you're nobody. You're a fucking hemorrhoid on the world's ass. Give me a fucking break. Maybe get ahead. And he's going to tell you shit about life. The dude yesterday sitting on stream saying that every day is a make or break day. Let's start on it now. 
<laughs> and okay. now he's just talking down to you. So you should adhere to his fucking schedule so you can show up when you want to show up. Okay. Um, like you're supposed to show up in the first place. But honestly, I want him to keep saying things like that. Because all he's saying right now is stop watching my stuff. Instead of saying stop watching the trolls, he's just saying stop watching my shit. In a roundabout way. But everybody can understand. So. You motherfucker. Dark says, if someone's looking at your level one playlist, how would they know what's covered without going through every individual video? They you don't. I tried retitling my videos as of two months ago, and this should help. What I do is I try to emphasize what's going on in each show, in the title, and that comes first. So as soon as you see- Whoa, look, revolutionary. Look at how happy he is. He's telling you this like he developed a system to do it. That's right. No, it's just the dude writing a line of text. He's proud of writing a line of text. That's how, that's how low the standards of quality are. We're flexing a title of a video. He'll probably say something like, you know, Friday game chosen, you know, schedule update or- Whoa, you know, epic. Like so as, as if we don't have a schedule update literally every day. That's super descriptive, Phil. You will know, oh, this is a podcast where he determined what he's playing Friday. Let's watch it to figure this out. And then remember, there's Two some- from VLX 11,387. Let me beg in peace, big face anger. That's all he wants. All he wants is to be left to manipulate the way he wants to because he's a terrible manipulator. And the more people are telling him this and pointing out how, it's making it harder for him. And that's why in the last couple of years, there's been so much trolls that he just can't, like, he can't pull the, the dance the way he used to. AI generated. There's just too much... <clears throat> There's just too much resistance. That are in the description of each video, and that should help you find the specific times. Uh-huh. Okay. I care That's so much the about this. There you go. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, Are we good? Jade, by the way, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope you feel better, Jade. Really, I'm really sorry to hear that. Please take it easy today. Um, What did he say? I know feel good. What did he actually say? From Better Call Darth Maul. I too would enjoy watching you stream Bully for your Retro React channel. Will you again play Final Fantasy? Oh, I can't even find I already, him. I already explained that on the stream today. That we need to finish the two existing RPGs. Once the two existing RPGs are done, then I go full time into Dragon's Dogma 2. And at that time, we reassess. Ah, would fuck you want it. me to go back to Final Fantasy 7? Would you want me to instead play a new game? Like, that's the stuff we have to figure out. And we will together. Uh, shout well, out yeah, Logan K who says, uh, never happened. Hashtag save the house. Okay. Well, that was, yeah, that was like the epitome okay. of like um, making a big deal out of his here. personal finances and shit. I but if you ask him, there was nothing else he could do. He had to do it. He was forced to do it. From one minute man. Or else he would have had to lose his house that he shouldn't really have in the first place because he can't afford it. But it's good that he has it, because now he gets to bleed money. Ambush combat in Baldur's Gate. Because, bro, he, unironically, if he was in a smaller place, he would just be bawling out like it's nobody's business. He would still probably spend it all on bullshit and have nothing to show for it because it's Dark Side Phil, but at least he would have the ability to ball out. And a shout out to Tyler C for the two who says, uh, Minecraft stole the idea of potions from a mod. Well, mods are very good and very productive. Most times, like unless we're talking about like melee attacks. stupid mods so that have sexual content. I'm gonna skip the the stupid ass. Easy job. You jail. This bullshit. Cast haste on every companion. Keep in mind that the suggestions thread is three weeks old, and we have three weeks of suggestions to get through before we get to new ones. Yeah, go fuck yourself with so these we'll stupid ass today. suggestions. Mm. Okay. And test <laughs> that's an interesting analogy what's the analogy let's hear this I understand your if it's so time, funny i hope you don't try to finish the current games like a hot dog eating contest <laughs> that's an interesting analogy if you're worried about rpg burnout does it make sense to start another rpg how about no bro no we're not we're not doing schedule shit we heard everything he has to say about the games he's playing what he's gonna play when he's playing it in bullshit. And here he looks, he looks like he's very toxic in this one. I want to hear what he has to say with this face. What face is uh, warranting this? Okay. I think I'm all ca caught up on sh a shout out. So if anyone else contributes, I'll give you a shout out. But in the meantime, if anyone else, uh, you know, wants to, to uh, talk, please tag me in the chat. Oh no, it's just, it's just nothing. 
and dead air. Very nice. Is it a suggestion to fill in the dead air with like talking about something? From Infidel Castro. Nah. Beg for me, BB. What the rate for a half hour? Well, if you want me to get on my knees, it's gonna be higher than normal. If you want the prayer hands, it's gonna be even higher than that. Oh, right you're not even you're not you don't even have enough to like hear out the rate for a half an hour. Can't even afford to hear it out. I charge extra. So there you go. Oh, uh, did Kirk got banned? So a Canadian Kirk got banned so many times. I don't even know what his current sock account is, but for some reason he just keeps coming back. Like why? I'll just say fuck it. Seriously, I mean that too. Like, there's no way I'm playing another 65 hours of that fucking game. I'll quit. So I hope that it's not true. Wait, what? I'm just not gonna. Right. So there you go. Wait, what's that game? It's not Baldur's Gate 3. Can uh, be. There better not be 65 hours left in Baldur's Gate 3 because then I'm just not going to finish it. I'll just say fuck <laughs> it. Seriously. I mean that too. Like, There's no way I'm playing another 65 hours of that fucking game. I'll quit. He's so angry. He still hates it. He hates it right now. He hated it from day one. But the money he got was, you know, uh, some kind of an incentive to keep playing it. I hope that it's not true. <clears throat> legitimately hates the game it's everything he hates about gaming it's difficult you got to figure stuff out by yourself it's slow paced it's super long it got sexy moments in it with girls that want to have sex with you boys that want to have sex with you dragons want to have sex with you bears want to have sex with you everybody horned up here's some dollar for the turn the camera on tips goal um sure well no i'm not turning it on today but i'll, I'll reinvest them into next time we're not doing any more gimmicks. Last last night was a 6K celebration thing. I'm not doing any more push-ups or vests or anything. So don't send me money for that. I'm telling you straight up from now. Hi, Darkness. I do not take offense. It's just that I have heard that exact same line of argument since COVID began, and it is bullshit. It's what people like. Why is it bullshit? Narrative or political reason. It has absolutely nothing to do with reality, so... I appreciate the comment. I How can you prove know. that with facts and logic, Phil? Except just say it's bullshit. I actually believe that. You've had the wool pulled over your eyes. It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> but if you don't know what we're talking about, Heist Darkness left a comment last night on a video. And he's like, you know, right now, there's inflation. And a lot of people aren't making a lot of money. Or yes, literally. Going as far as it used to go. And therefore, a lot of people are hurting. And that might be why right now you've said your channel's down for like two months. And I'm like, so if that's the case... As you know, we totally have heard that every single content creator is hurting right now because they're all willing, you know, people who take contributions and all contributions would be down, right? Oh, by the way. No, it's just the bottom feeders like you, Phil, that are terrible at their job. Other people, they got brand deals and ad spaces and shit like that. Because this is like, this is not proving anything. This is just like a, 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 I don't even know how to say it, a fucking anecdote or something. It's a platitude. It means nothing. It doesn't prove anything. It's just this, therefore that. These people don't have money to pay for consoles or video games or their Apple Watches or their fucking Teslas and all this shit. Okay, they yeah, they, they don't. How many people buy Teslas? Are Teslas a, a, a regular consumer vehicle? You drop in and spending money on Or is it an exotic vehicle? They don't have money for that anymore, right? Yeah, they it's don't. Bullshit. It's a bullshit argument. It's a straw man argument. Uh-huh. And you, uh, how do you fight that with another straw man argument that is literally made up from your very limited life experiences by communicating and socializing with literally nobody? Ever since COVID, we've heard this argument that, oh, everything's messed up. Everything's down. Everything. No one has money for anything. It's nonsense. Okay. People have money to spend on what they want. The question is, no. do you find enough value to spend it on something or say, oh, now I'm going to abstain from that because I'm cutting the fat because things are a little bit tighter. But in reality, you're going to spend money on things you find value in. If you okay, so so what is the logic behind this, Phil? If your business is not doing good, then you're not providing the value to justify people spending money on you. There you go. You proved him fucking right. You proved him right. Find value in a content creator who's putting out hundreds of hours of free content yeah but you don't get to determine your own value that's not how it works that's not how it works you don't get to, to have a prostitute that's sitting on a corner that thinks that she's a high level escort for like politicians and fucking uh billionaires you don't get to do that that's not how it works for you then you're probably going to support that content creator all right 
But the argument I'm making is the reason I'm down is two reasons. Fake memberships and RPG overload. That has nothing to do with the fact that there's inflation right now. There's been inflation for three years, and this didn't happen until two months ago. So it's it's a it's oh a my god, dude. Again, it's a I I, I yeah. want to say so many things that are gonna get me straight up like sent to to a different plane of existence, to man. To try to I just can't him. anymore. This dude is sick. We got to put him out of his sickness. I mean, like, it's not valid. Metaphorically. Stop trying to use that argument. It's not real. <laughs> <clears throat> So he he proved the argument correct by saying that people are are having a harder time financially and they got to spend things that they find value in. And therefore, if his business is not doing good, people don't find value in what he does. That's it. That's the bottom line. So he can't provide the value. Dollar alert. 2 dollars from RSNERD008. Ha <laughs> value. <laughs> Sundar got a little bit too ex- Two Brazilian reals from Rodrigo Marcandes. Phil has his own head cannon of reality. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's basically called deluded. He's deluded. That's that's what it is. He he legitimately and that's I, I believe this for, for years now, legitimately is living in his own reality. Because otherwise, he's going to have like a mental breakdown and probably just end up killing himself or something. If if it fractured, if he had to face the real reality of who he is, what his personality is, and how people truly see him based on his actions and his words, he would just end it. He would go full on Chris Benoit. Rush the story end. It'll be five to ten hours. Like I said, I've invested enough time into Baldur's Gate 3. I want to see the resolution. Except Chris Benoit actually had head trauma and DSP doesn't have enough. The story arcs for the character. We should work on that. Lazel, Will, Gale, <clears throat> uh, Shadowheart, Asterion. I want to see everyone get, or I guess Jahara in some case, even though I don't really know the character that well. She hasn't been that much a big of a part of the story for me. Um, I want to see their character arcs end. Or else what was the point? Oh, this is getting skipped. Loving the game. And then I couldn't I couldn't keep playing it. We will we will definitely go back to Sea of Stars later this year when there's time. Uh, Skill Scholar, how's it going? I don't even know why you got banned. Because and somebody got banned. I swear I saw you in the chat yesterday, and I don't think I banned you. So moderator probably banned you. Right. Excuse me. You know the deal. When it comes to getting unbanned, everyone knows. Oh, look so at this. Interesting stories about Alex Valle. I mean, the only story about Alex oh, Valle. Oh, no. Before. Okay, so people that care about the FGC are going to want to hear this. So I'll just let it play. That I remember it was at a random Evo in Vegas. And a lot of gamers, for whatever reason, didn't have hotel rooms at the hotel. But they wanted to stay in the hotel. Well, what happened was the hotel owners got wind of this. And they, they, they were told there's like flocks of, of fighting game players in the hallways who don't belong here because they don't have rooms. And the security was walking through the hallways trying to throw them out of the hotel. So as a group of them was walking by my room, I said, I'll be a nice guy and I'll let them hang out here for like a half an hour until the security calms down and then, I'll, then they can leave. So it was actually Valle with a group of other players who came into the hotel room to hang out. And the thing is, everyone was like drunk. Because oh, that's the thing, we're all drinking and everything in the hotel, you know, park. Bill, you're not supposed to do things in life to be a nice guy. You're supposed to do them because it's the right thing to do. Partying and stuff. And he comes into Because you room. can do something good for somebody. Not so you can be a nice guy and later on hold it against them and bring it up in conversations. Well, well hey, you guys, I left you. Stay with me. You, you like me now? Do you like me? Look at how good of a guy I am. And I remember having a conversation with with uh, my friend Nestor, who actually he's Coruchado. He's the guy who I used to do co-op with in like Black Ops Zombies. But he's a fighting game player, very good fighting game player from the East Coast. And we were having a conversation and Valle was there and he was so buzzed. He just starts like talking about, yeah, man, it's like, I know what you're talking about because I remember when I came here and I was trying to get my citizenship and it was real hard to get a green card. And everyone like looked at him like, what the fuck is he talking about? He must have been so drunk, he was having, like, a conversation in his head about something. And he just jumped in the middle of our conversation talking about his green card. And we were like, what? <laughs> you know? Like, huh? 
But it, it was funny. I mean, it's it's just a silly observation, but that's like one of the funny stories is that that's how it was back then. I hate to say it. The fighting game community was basically a bunch of people bumming around a lot of the time. And so if you had money and you actually spent money on stuff, people would try to bum off of you. Yeah, yeah, that that's what he did. That's what he did. All off credit cards. He was trying to effectively trying to buy friends. He would go to lunches with them and pay for their lunch. He was trying to get people to like him by spending money on him, which is something that he does with everything. Let's just throw money at it and it's going to be okay because you don't have the content of the, your character to attract people to like you so we can spend money on them. So it's like, oh, you have a hotel room? Hey, can I stay here for half an hour so that I don't get thrown out of the hotel? And, you know, who even knows where those people were going to stay? Eventually, they probably went room to room. Look at what a nice room. person he is. He needs to tell you so hard how much of a nice person he is. Because you can't tell. I wasn't going to let people crash in my fucking room. You know, who knows who's going to fucking be stupid and steal or be so drunk and rowdy and they don't fucking shut the fuck up and go to sleep. So that's how it was back then. I would say that's true, Jack. Jack says, in regards to recent burnout with RPGs, do you find most games today have RPG elements? I would say, yeah. In fact, I would say tons of games now have RPG elements. Even games that never did. Like, for example, even Call of Duty has a level... Yeah, just getting skipped. Um, let's see here. I'll take a look during during the break. I'll take a look at my emails. This is the person who wants to be unbanned. They claim that they. Email oh man, them. some more cuckoldry. <laughs> oh man, I cannot wait for this heat wave to end. I'm sitting here, and then Wednesday it's supposed to be cool again. Metal Gear Solid Five, um, some of the some of the Dishonored stuff, and I've done better at it. You know, I think stealth games have become a hell of a lot more easy now as well. They're much more accessible when. The classic ones I was playing, like the classic Metal Gear, usually so I have to go kill it. This all getting skipped. Turtles are a little bit tricky to take care of from what I don't understand. You know, they can get sick. They can be a little bit frustrating because a lot of them need the heat lamps and stuff like that. And my wife and I have basically said we're not going to get any reptiles. Like, we're not going to bother with amphibians or reptiles. It's going to be too complicated of a deal. Of course. The level one family, basically. They can't do anything that takes any amount of effort. That's why they got a cat, because it's quote-unquote easy to do. What's the thing I'm looking forward to the most in the next year of gaming or in general? I don't know. Zero, I don't know. I've got so much going on in my life right now between juggling three YouTube channels, <laughs> all right, planning events like my birthday event and other things. I've got things going on behind the scenes in my private life that, you know... <laughs> I don't know why. Dark side Phil saying I have so much going on in my life right now that just gets me laughing out uncontrollably. Handling Dark side Phil of all people, the dude who can only talk about what he ate last night and what video games he's playing right now. Far ahead at right now. It's like I gotta go to the day to day. You know what I mean? I gotta just handle the day to day for now. Maybe at one point I will have a more long term goal that I can look forward to. I can't really do that right now. I'm kind of already kind of scatterbrained. <laughs> Lurking. What's going on, Shell? You can hire you today. Good to see you. We have behind our house. We don't know where it is. Oh, that's cute. Bean says, I take care of little pond turtles. I release them when they get a little bigger. That's cute. We actually have behind our house. We don't know where it is. But we have to have either a pond or like a stream because this time of year we hear frogs loudly riveting dog dog you you've been living there for a decade and you don't know where the pond behind your house is you've been living there for a decade five dollars from matt three eyes god Meanwhile, damn it there's probably someone in ukraine wondering if they're going to live to see tomorrow but phil has a lot going on dude yeah he has so much because he's juggling three youtube channels man one of them gets like an average of 150 views a video so yeah it's it's some it's a big business and we can hear them like big business day, mostly at night and they're, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. like where are they we don't know because it, it's in the back like behind our facility behind the fencing there's a fort like a little forest and we're thinking it's somewhere in there but it's really cool that you get those little frogs cricket ribbiting at night only during the spring. It's like the spring serenade of frogs every night. 
<clears throat> uh, I received a $5 tip. Without spoilers, you can beat Baldur's Gate 3 in less than five minutes. Beat everyone all over the place. Like, he couldn't even stand up. He had noodle news. So, I mean, what am I afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to kick everything. I really feel like people are like, oh, the great in April. And it looks okay to me. It's like, I'll leave it as a maybe. But it's unlikely. And I'm going to be honest with you. Would you really want to know the truth? Although the combat, I have looked a little bit into the combat. And it looks okay to me. It's like, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. It looks decent. If I play Cellar Blade... 99% of the time I'm playing the game, people in the chat are going to be fucking immature shitheads about No, it. you're going to be. You're going to be an immature shithead about how the character is hot and it shouldn't be. Because you already uh, you already set up for it. Because the character was designed per- Or it's maybe- Maybe it's because your fucking chat is immature idiots. Maybe it's because that's the kind of people you attract to enjoy your content. You should think about why this happens. Purposefully to be a sexualized character, the game dev has outright said it. No, they didn't. And I know when he covered that news story, I looked it up and I saw why. And all the coverage. It's there's, there's nothing about sexuality that the game dev outright said. So he's just straight up bullshitting right now. He's not bullshitting on purpose. He's bullshitting out of ignorance, but it's still bullshit. You're seeing the game online is just still sexual. smells the same. Meaning, oh, look. Instead of show gameplay, let's have her walk up and down this ladder 10 times in a row to see her butt cheeks jiggle. Well, I don't fucking do that. I don't care about that. And I don't want my stream to be all about that. So I'm not going to fucking subject myself to that. When people will definitely be doing that in the chat. So I think I'm just going to skip it. You know? Just yes, literally, that's what they said down, bad guy. Uh, they said she was attractive just because you're looking at her the whole time. Because it's a third-person action game. So if you're going to be looking at the character, they should look good. So you got something nice to look at. Being honest, I don't just make like sense. Mm. You don't even need to like actually go out on the record and say this. It just makes sense inherently. I don't feel like I'm missing out too much anyway, because like I would have what I said, if this game did not have that woman as the protagonist, I don't think people would be talking about it like they are. I don't think people would even be that excited for it. I think it's, it's a decent game when it comes to the gameplay elements, but people are loving the game and hyping it because they're perverts they're over sexualized people who are just really the fucking main character they want to lust over her and fucking look at the butt cheeks jiggle look at the boobs jiggle and the dev said oh yeah i based her off of a model on purpose so that people would would do this shit no that's not what he said and you should be sued for slander well, bro guess what? You, you're just straight up wrong i and it's not just being wrong it's the the audacity of having this kind of an attitude when you're just straight up wrong the arrogance of being wrong like this and being like unapologetically bullshitting. What? I'm not into that. Since that seems to be a major he's part not of into the sex because uh, he's intended, an and I don't care about not that. I guess sex haver. Oh, well. Sex is only for creating babies and he doesn't want to create babies because he's created Let's Plays. That is in short uh, why he doesn't want to have kids, by the way, because he already has a legacy. His YouTube videos are going to continue the Burnell bloodline. Because uh, somehow they will. Shout out to Ryan who says, My mom beat cancer, but man, three YouTube channels. Massive shout out to your mom, man. Because uh, that, that, that shit is something else. You need, like, next level. You need next level, like, belief to do it, man. Uh, massive prayer hands in chat for, for Ryan's mama right now. Right now. Let's spread some positive vibes. Because we've been super if toxic this whole stream, by the way. More mature, I probably wouldn't care. I was toxic well, at everybody. Well, literally, the entire <laughs> chat will just be like, oh my god, lusting over this woman constantly when I try to play the fucking game. Yeah. So I'm just not going to bother with it. <laughs> Why isn't it like that when Kat's on stream? Why aren't they lusting over Kat? You know. Is it because she looks like Fat Bastard from Austin Powers? Get in my belly! I hate to say it, but that was one of the advantages back in the day of when I played a game like Bayonetta. And she's also a fat bastard. Stream. So I can so that that content, it's a double now, entendre. Yeah, it would be like that in the comments, but at least it didn't permeate the content when I was doing it live. You know, I love having an interactive audience. I feel like the interactive audience will be lost during a Stellar Blade playthrough because people won't be able to control themselves. And I know that sounds fucking sad, but I think think it's true. It's this thing about human society. Like, oh, a sexualized character. I can't control myself. Time to just fucking talk about it constantly. No, who right? is doing that? <clears throat> Bro, you used to do that. You were in your 30s doing that shit. In your 30s. And you were like, oh my god, man. I wish I could rape this one. Oh my god. We should take her virginity without permission. 
This is like a grown-ass dude saying shit like this. To entertain children, by the way. He's not just saying it because he means it. He's saying it because he thinks it's a cool thing to say. Uh, BB Phil did a super chat. Just thank you for talking Give about- Give me Alex a fucking Biden. break. You ever beat him at any point during your pro career? Yes. Oh, the dude! That's not what the super chat said. That's not what the super chat said. I want to go back because I remember specifically the super chat said during your semi-pro career. And that's what, what made an impression on me. Oh, this guy is going to get leaned in. And now- you see how it gets red? Oh, during your pro career. You see, you can't take you can't take away Phil's cloud. He was a real pro. I did. Um, and he beat me. Look at this spineless little piece of shit weasel. I think this shit eating fucking rad bastard. I think actually we're one and one. He beat me. Man, I'm gonna get leaned in someday for being so toxic. And I I'm not gonna get away with it West eternally. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah. So we are one and one right now. We're even. And it would be cool to have an epic final fight. Although, honestly, he'd probably beat me because more than likely, he's constantly still playing fighting games and he's in the community and I'm not. So he'd probably kick my ass, just being honest. Unless I practiced a ton again to get back into fighting shape in Super Turbo, he'd probably whoop me. <clears throat> he's going to whoop you anyways. Okay. But even if I get banned, I'm going to ban evade. I'm gonna run away on a different account. He'll never understand what he's saying to his fans that he will not show a video game character but shows his wife the way he does. He has no fear of anyone going after her. Those reasons are self-explanatory. That poozy sm- No! No! Oh, you see? You see you got leaned in before you could say it. Now nobody knows what you actually said except me. And I think it's too toxic. So you're not- I'm not gonna let it fly. So fuck off. But I, I agree with the sentiment. I agree with the idea. Better call Dark. Except the, the that last one with the with the pussy. Small tip the dollar says, is there a reason why Battlefront One remake did <laughs> upgrade and Battlefield the, the way the Battlefield Two remake did? No, there is. What are you talking about? They're completely different. There there was. He's you're getting confused. Battlefront One and Two in the 2010s are new games entirely from the ground up. This Battlefront collection is just the classic games from. No, I'm not. I'm not even trying to defend Cat. It was just like really fucking disgusting. The same games. It's just super disgusting, bro. We can't. Remaster. There is. Those are few. Fight shape like he's a UFC champ. Um, what kind of a champ? I, I, he's, he's in a fight, a fight, in a fight shape like he's, um, I don't know, hot dog eating contest champion. New game. That's that's the biggest. So that's where you. I can give him. Uh, even, uh, it, bro, yesterday, even I did more push-ups than he could possibly do. I did 16 push-ups. Think of that. Me, a small, tiny, effeminate twink man. 16 push-ups. He couldn't even do, like, five. I bet my life on this. Okay, I, not my life. Because he's not going to do them right, but he's going to say he did. So, no. He, he, he can't do more than 10. Prisoner says, is that how some people were acting when you played Nero Automata? Yeah. And I did him on I camera too. With Nier Automata, it wasn't as bad. And the re it was bad, don't get me wrong. But I think the reason it wouldn't have been as bad is because the game was unique and had a crazy good story. Like you think the game's gonna be a game just a superficial combat with half naked androids. But then as you're playing it, you realize the plot is super fucking good. It's deep, it's interesting, it's fourth wall breaking. And I'm so happy that people convinced me eventually to go back to that game. They're not going for that with Stellar Blade. They're not. They're just literally making a game with good action with an over-sexualized character. Did you know that the character has a skin suit? She has a skin-colored suit to wear to, again, make her look like she's nude. Um, but the trick is, if you put it on, it makes the game harder. So in order to see her basically nearly naked, you have to basically play the hardest version of the Bro, game. Bro, if I wanted to see somebody naked, I would go on Pornhub and beat my meat all day, 24-7, if I wanted to do it. I wouldn't be playing video games. Wow, this sounds like a game that's right up my alley, doesn't it? Right? That's what I'm all about. <clears throat> Cause Derek doesn't play video games. He just goes and you know what he does. Everybody knows. No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you really, here's why Stellar Blade is getting the coverage it's getting. Because it's the anti-woke game. Oh my god. It's following all the tropes of games that used to be out in the 1990s. The original Lara Croft shit, right? So many games today have gone woke. Where, oh, the women, we're tired of them being over-sexualized. We're tired of them, you know, 
being portrayed in a certain way. And now we want to go, you know, this is a way that to, they're spitting right in the face of all of that, correct? Ha, fuck you. We can still have, you know, sexualized women in games, and that's fine, but it's just not going to be for everyone. Personally, I don't have any gripes with the combat engine or anything that they did with the gameplay elements, but I'm not interested in the sexualization of characters, so I'm not going to care about the game. I'm going to skip it. If you like that, go for it. That's on you, and you enjoy it. I'm not going to hate on you for liking Stellar Blade, but I want you to respect the decision that I'm going to make to not make it part of my streams and content since that was a major focus of the game development cycle. They've outright said it, okay? But I think that's what it is. There are so many games now that are going the other direction, you know? Completely the other direction. And gamers are kind of riling against that. Like, no, actually, we, we liked how it was back in the day. It's good to have variety. It's good. In reality, it's good to have variety. It's good to have the option. If you like that, go for it. If you don't like that, don't go for it. There's something over here for you. There's stuff in between. And that's Bro, all perfectly fine. Why is this right? segment so long? Variety is the spice of life. So if you like that stuff, go for it. I don't care about it, though. <clears throat> okay, you don't care about it. Every, every time we start talking about something sexual, he just goes off the rails, man. It's Apologies. legitimately... This dude... You cannot convince me that that he doesn't have erectile dysfunction. This is a guy whose manhood has been literally destroyed. So he can, he feels so insecure about this. He's having a visceral reaction to any encounter of sexuality that exists. Any single one. And there's like hours of footage to prove that. When? <laughs> You know, it seems like every day something gets more political, right? Literally every day we have a more political discussion. It's unavoidable. It's unavoidable that eventually we're going to get there as I get older, right? Right. Oh, uh, hold on a second. My blinds just... Ah! My eye. Stellar Blade. So here's the thing. No, I'm, I don't... The new chair emo will be used when I get up. Am I woke because I don't like Stellar Blade? So here's the thing. No, I'm I don't I totally don't agree with the whole woke mentality. What? I feel like people like should what? have the ability to to do what they want. If you like the content, but what, if not, what? don't. I'm not But bro, yeah, I can I can very easily flip this on him. People should do what they want. What if I want to hate on minorities? What if that's my thing? And I want them all to be gassed. What what if that's the case? Just like when he says, I just want people to be happy. What if I'm a raging racist? You want me to be happy? I'm only going to be happy if everybody's exterminated. Here in rally, you can say this is right and this is wrong. Really? You know, to each their own. I'm saying, for example, I'm saying hypothetically, I could turn this around to him. That's not my views. But at the same time, I don't have to partake in things that I'm not interested in. And people should respect that. Because it's like, this is like, he thinks this is so deep to say. It's like, I, ju I just want everybody to, to be happy and to like everything that they like. But what if you're just objectively terrible? I respect your ability to enjoy Stellar Blade, if that's what you're looking for. I'm not. So each each side should agree to disagree. So it's like, it's, it's just such a paper thin logic that it, it's not even worth saying it. Because it means nothing. It's just a platitude. I just want people to be happy. That means nothing. Everybody, that children, children say this shit. You know, that's fine. <clears throat> what if it makes me, yeah, exactly, that's, that's very true. What if it makes me happy dunking on DSP and harassing him and stalking him? What if it makes me happy to shit on his wife and milk him for content? What if that truly brings light and positivity to my life? He wants me to be happy so I can keep going. And that's so his logic we're applying. That's all by his logic. Are between streams, I don't know whose property that is, so I shouldn't even be over there. It's not in the realm of our property. We have fenced off at the back of our property. So if I jump the fence and walk over there, I'm legally trespassing, which I'm not going to do. So I don't know whose property that is. <clears throat> you should trespass into a minefield, DSP. In a video game that is called real life. Can we get an emo of my face imposed on the angry, the red angry bird? <laughs> People are saying they want to, there's some anger emo on another channel that they like. I don't know. Did I have a cold one in honor of Stone Cold on 316? No, I did not. What, did he die? 
I, I did no, he's still alive. About it being 316 day. I don't think anyone even mentioned it on a stream. What would that have been? Saturday? Yeah. No one even Well, because you said you don't care about wrestling, so people don't want to say things in chat that you don't care about because they're going to get banned and you're going to get all pissy about it. <clears throat> Ever thought of owning a dog? Uh, we've thought about it, for sure, but it's not something we're willing to commit to. Ever right thought now. of owning yeah, a bog? A cat that's very, very demanding and social. He's the kind of kid. <laughs> Ever thought of owning a bee? It's very jealous if you're not. Bro, we don't give a fuck about Jasper. Jasper is so useless, bro. Get get rid of all the discussion that is surrounding Jasper. Let him just exist at a, as the simple, basic cat he is. He's been cursed with being declawed, which is a terrible thing you need to you, you can do to an animal, and you shouldn't be doing. So let let, let him just stay in peace. Don't talk about him. Commit me. Years down the line. He's never done anything that's worth talking about. He's like the most basic cat that has ever been existing in life. So we should just not talk about him. See you later, Rebecca. And now we are just... Can we have a dead air emote? I think that could be the new DSP meme. That is just dead air. Because he's not saying anything during his podcast that he's supposed to say something during. BB Phil loves the red fedora for some reason. He wants me to wear the red fedora today. Whatever Who's my favorite wrestler? Agree. Kurt Angle. He's the GOAT. To want the Vikings. There's no discussion. I don't know why. Because I don't think there's any Vikings in Baldur's Gate. But for some reason, people always want the Viking hat. I don't care if he got... Uh... He doesn't have the longest title reign or whatever, because, I mean, that shit's scripted anyways. You just decide who has the longest title reign. But yeah, the perk angle, he's, he's just the GOAT, man. Huh. Can't disprove else, that. Guys, or All the shit he's been through, and still, like, he's grinding it out in the ring, day. putting together, like, uh, amazing matches. Crazy. Why not do a hat pull now? Because we haven't hit the hat goal. We haven't even hit the tier one tips. Yeah, but for when we hit it, we know we're going to hit it anyways. You're playing Baldur's Gate, right? It's going to happen. Am I surprised Jack in the Box is the only fast food chain that serves breakfast? What? Every fast food chain serves breakfast. Burger King, McDonald's, even Taco Bell. Like, all the major chains around here serve breakfast. I have no idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> I am not doing a Dragon's Dog with two character creation stream. My wife and I are going to create my character and a pawn she's going to make during our day off. So that way they're ready to go for Friday and we can jump right into the game without... I don't have any thoughts on DDP because uh, he was... I mean, his exactly. run in WWE was terrible. They didn't do anything with him. And I, I don't watch WCW, so I don't know. He seems like a cool guy, though. We want to get as much gameplay in as possible on Friday and not waste time. I am totally ready for the Eclipse on April 8th because we know what's going to happen when the Eclipse happens. Cthulhu's tentacles will finally reach around the planet and embrace us all and take no. us to the evil dark presence and I'm, I'm ready for it. Yeah, you, uh, you, yeah, I would, you know what, you're, you're right. I do not use beard oil of any kind, no. I've never done anything like that. I'm not one of those guys who like, oh, I got to dye my beard, right? So I look younger. I gotta use beard oils to uh, condition the beard. I don't do anything like that. I just, I yeah, age, we can see. And I look older. You literally don't wash your face, man. That's why you got weird spots on your face, and that's not getting old. Cause you can be aging gracefully, or you can be aging like a glass of milk, like you are. And there's nothing you can do. About like it. we can tell, you got shitty facial hair. You don't take care of. You got shitty fucking skin. You don't take care of. You got a shitty hairline you don't take care of. You got oozing skin arms you don't take care of. You got an unhealthy body you don't take care of. You don't have to say that you don't take care of it. We can see. It's super obvious. Because you're on I camera every day. Could Probably if I did dye my beard darker, I'd look younger for sure. Because when I had the dark beard, I did look younger. I'll agree there. But yeah, he's going to be... Uh, he's going to look younger by one year. And he's still going to look like he's 73. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think people really care to see me looking that young. It's not a, not a giant concern. You guys will see in the next few years, you're going to see a lot of gray hair because I actually have it, but you can't see it on camera right now. But I'm getting more and more gray hairs everywhere in my hair. And so I'm going to go gray. Oh. Actually. 
They they must be completely transparent. That's why your hairline looks like that. <clears throat> and the legs are going crazy. Look at him. He's playing the kick drums like it's yes, nobody's business. My hair is He's John bad. Bonham right lots now. Lots of grays in my head. You just can't see them yet. Look at that. My beard. But He's shaking. My beard started going white, and now it looks... You know, kind of like ashy almost, right? Like ashes. If you told me he's like a coke addict, I would totally believe you. Yeah. And that's why he snorts and he clears his do everything. In the beard? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I get dry skin under there. Under what? Ashy almost, right? Like ashes. Yeah. Do I ever face dryness in the beard? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Dryness in I the beard. Dry skin under there. Why don't you take care of it then? Because there's nothing I could do, Is man. Quarter life crisis. When, the quarter life crisis would have been what when I was twenty. When I was twenty, I don't. Yeah, you did. Feel like I had my head firmly screwed on my shoulders yet. Because you really didn't. Don't. I feel. I think like I went through all these weird phases of my life that it wasn't until it wasn't until I was past the early YouTube days, which would have been what my early thirties. <laughs> that I actually started to feel more like a full adult. No, you're not supposed to say this. And more mature. And Don't say this. Like that, no. You know? He was going through puberty until he was 30. His last 10 years have God really damn. been a rough 10 years that have made me a hell of a lot more of a mature person. Now. Really? Why? Because you spent all this time hoping that somebody's going to give you money so they can bail you out of insert financial difficulty here. That's, that's what he did the last 10 years. Look at this. Ever since 2014, he's been begging like crazy. Spend all his money moving across the country and then it's like, you guys, we need to save the house. You guys, please, I need tax money. I need this. I need that. We got copyright complaints. We got this. We got that. Please help me. That's the last 10 years. How does that make somebody more mature? How do you get more mature by going through this? <clears throat> all you got to do is be on your knees and put your, your hands in a prayer position and that's just it. And money starts coming at you. How does that build you up as a person? It doesn't. Uh, we got more uh, tips coming in. Jeez, I was going to end the show, but we got a $5.55 tip. From yeah, Chico. well, if you, if you sit there, wait enough, I would romance you. it's going to happen well, eventually. It's incredibly upsetting that you would say that. And just so you know, if you tried to romance me in Baldur's Gate 3, I would absolutely reject you. I'd be the only character in the game not romanceable. How about that? <laughs> I would rewrite the code of the game. Yeah, the, the, the character would be called Floppy Phil, and it's the only guy you can't romance for the obvious reasons of his gimmick, and his gimmick is that he's just floppy. Those perverts. You can't. Would you just can't. Butt naked within two seconds. And he also has one HP. The game. It'd be like, hi, I'm Phil, let's have sex. Because that's how they wrote the actual dialogue of the game for everyone else. So they probably have me doing that, but I would... I, I would how do you get your wife to have sex with you? Hack their files change that you do you serenade her be yeah, hi i'm phil let's have drinks that would change it oh yeah oh yeah hell yeah hell yeah that's what he would do okay better call darth maul let's dollar. have drinks of Black course the eclipse bad creatures come and kill us all in the night uh that's the one with um that is the one starring <clears throat> vin diesel and there was a video game of it, and actually, I played it very early on on YouTube. Yes, I remember that game. And Which I game? One. Tip a dollar. Have you seen the movie Pitch Black during the eclipse? Bad creatures come and kill us oh, all. Oh, Pitch Black, night. yeah. Uh, that's the one with um, that is the one starring <clears throat> Vin Diesel. Yes, uh, Chronicles of Riddick. And actually, I played it very early on on YouTube. Yes, I remember that game. What I mean? Feel like make the podcast shorter. It keeps going. People are still here. The attendance is great. The engagement is good. But we gotta end. We gotta end. Bro, bro, you're literally just sitting there waiting for people to give you money. That Like, this is the format. Like, how is this supposed to be good? The people that are here just showed up so they can watch you play the game. And that's why the attendance is good, you moron. We gotta get to Baldur's Gate because I have to finish this game. All right? So as much as we have fun with the podcast, guys, we gotta put the kibosh on it for today. Okay? Look at this, dude, uh, man. Thanks for watching. You're never thanks gonna learn. Hanging. Thanks for putting up with my summer attire before. I, 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 Today is either the first day of spring or it's about to be spring like tomorrow here in Washington. I'm not, secure, uh, not uh, clear on that. <clears throat> but I thank you all. So much for a great show. Tomorrow, I'm sure we'll be talking all about uh, my progress today in the games and the like.
You know what I should do? I think I actually have a Easter bunny. Oh no, no. That I could put into this slideshow. Hold on, because if I have that, I can do that right. Is now. he gonna have an Easter special? He should. Uh, where would it the be? The Easter <laughs> special. Where would the Easter bunny picture be? Uh, oh, there's the headshot of it. Do I have the whole picture? Did I do the Valentine's Day one this year? I think I might have forgotten all about it. Oh, all of is. these are so like. Especially this one. I mean, this one is like, what the fuck? Like, actually, what the fuck? Who made this and thought it was good? Okay, so... Or not Easter terrible. First. Hold on. And this one, this is... We're not even talking about Easter's this. Easter's right around the corner. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, well. Funny, funny. It's almost... Funny Easter. guy. It's coming in like a week or two. So, thank you guys for a great podcast. I hope Mr. You funny. It. A nice chill time. Okay, I'm gonna clock out because uh, keep fucking pissed me off too much today. I don't even know why. I'm in a very good mood today, but he just he just did his magic, man. Sometimes that is just, just how it fucking works. God damn it. Let's skip ahead. Let's see what happens. Well, nothing happens. That's it. But why is uh, why is one minute man not the top tip? What happened with that? Why is he not the top tip? Because I'm I'm sure he sent him at least more than ten dollars. You guys stay out there. I'll investigate the treasure room. You let me. Know. I don't know. We've got the fuck this this dog shit. Uh, there there's only one person who actually watches these, and it's a a dude on Kiwi Farms that does like summaries and recaps of these streams. And this is the only guy who actually watches the whole stream, which is man that that guy is a soldier. I wouldn't do this in a lifetime. But anyways, thanks everybody. I'll might see you tomorrow. Uh, no stream on Wednesday. That that's I know for sure. Then on Thursday, we have TBS, and I'm going to be the producer for the first time ever. So let's see if we're going to get a, a disaster stream that is not ALT's fault. And yeah, that's it. Maybe maybe tomorrow. Well, maybe I'm going to do the podcast tomorrow. So anyways, uh, thank you, everybody. And oh, it didn't play. Okay, well, my sound clips don't work. Well, I guess it's terrible. So... Anyways, thanks everybody. Yong out. Take care. Well, I was supposed to say Yong out in the end. Well, so Yong out.